everybody. Welcome back to Creature Corner. My name is Jared Kraszewski. I am a creature and character concept artist in the industry. Today, we have a very exciting show for you ahead, and I cannot, I cannot anticipate the unhinged madness that will unfold. So, uh, be warned. Uh, uh, warnings ahead. Uh, but if you join us, if you hang in there, you will see uh, treats and sights <laughs> that we have to show you. Um, <laughs> I'm very excited about uh, tonight's guest. But first, let me bring on the man with the most, the man with the method, the MMM, the Matt Miller method is Matt Miller. That's right, boys. Oh, boys. <laughs> Uh, we have a very special Creature Corner ready to go. Oh, dude, I'm so I, excited. I am elated. I am elated to finally meet this dude. He's so sick. His yes. work is incredible. Uh, we started chatting sometime last year and just started talking shit the whole time. We were yes. just like making jokes and everything. He's such a fun guy, and I am stoked to have him on tonight. The mantra of Creature Corner is not just like sharing our process with you and like getting to know all of you, but also uh, introducing new creature artists whenever they pop up. If you're making monsters and you're you're crushing it, like we want to we want to get to know you. And so Hammy's work came up and it just kept popping up in my feed. And I was like, who is this madman? Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm just enamored with it. <laughs> Uh, and, and he's, he, I'm going to share, uh, some of his work here. It's on his Instagram. Let me, um, let me pull up the caption here. It's, it's, it's on his Instagram. And so we're going to, that's his main vehicle right now. He's also on uh, Twitter as well. Um, but, uh, his work is just absolutely killer and, and like totally, uh, eye popping, um, so I like this is this was the piece that was my introduction to Hammy and I was like, wow, this piece is just killer. There's so much like character and depth and, and history kind of like uh, in this piece. And um, so he's been sharing that with uh, with everybody. And it's just it was just immediately kind of like eye popping. Well, the, the execution is incredible. Yeah, dude, just like so clean, uh, but so unique. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like all this stuff. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Like, yeah. It's beautiful. So, uh, you know, and then the next piece I think I saw from him was actually like the elf. Yeah. On the uh, yeah. And so it was like right around Christmas time. And I'm like, yeah. this is madness. Uh, I love <laughs> it. Um, and so like his work is just, uh, you know, very unique and, um, uh, we're trying to, you know, elevate voices other than our own and share with the community, other people out there. Like I just love. <laughs> that is incredible. Uh, like it's it's disturbing, but it's so cleanly executed. And Dude, I, I the, he's got a bonus Mac Ten in there. He's yeah, machine gun in there. Some hard surface modeling. That's nice. yeah. Well, dude, let's bring him on. Let's, let's yeah, yeah, him. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, anyway, um, oh, and uh, he is the he was the uh, one of the champions. Mm. Uh, the uh, ZBrush uh, sculpt off. That's well. right. So he he won a prize and everything. So um, anyway, we're super excited to have him. Please welcome Hammy. 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 Where is he? Huh? <laughs> we found um, him. Dude. Oh, uh, me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. We found him. We got him. Oh, we got the Hammy. We captured him in the wild, and we brought him. To you, we have encountered a wild hammy. <laughs> oh no! So, um, hey man, uh, like uh, I only met you like uh, a little bit earlier today, uh, but uh, yeah, man, uh, how did you get here? <laughs> how did I get here? Here, yeah, well, I'm at doing? home. How did we? How uh, did any of us get here? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, they say the Big Bang happened about 14 billion years ago. I'm going to write this and down. Then, yeah, and about 
three billion years into that yeah system started forming and then blah de blah de blah one thing led to another my mm. mom met my dad <laughs> and then i happened okay. and then at the age of like six i watched godzilla that's what we like there and it is. then and there then it is. i for some reason texas chainsaw massacre happened happened late at night late at night one night and yeah. i just got hooked oh so yeah. i'm like and then horror happened and just bam 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 monsters Ooh. for life it only starts Ooh. with godzilla i think godzilla is yeah. kind of like a yeah, gay so dude, my first question gay when is, what was the godzilla movie which one huh? Uh, it, it's, it it's was, Matthew Broderick's, isn't it? Yeah, but <laughs> after that, I'm like, I didn't, I didn't like the movie, right? I only okay. liked the little baby dinosaurs in in the movie, like the little baby okay. Godzillas. Okay, I'm like, okay, I'm like, and then I was it like, doesn't Godzilla, matter where it happens. What, uh, uh, like Godzilla, what is that? And then I watched. Uh, the actual Godzilla movies, the Toho films, okay, like the, both the Showa and the Heisei. I've watched all thirty-six movies. Oh hell yeah! Uh, or thirty-something movies, yeah. whatever. So right. Which one's your yeah. favorite out of the Toho? My favorite movie is uh, it, um, Godzilla nineteen ninety-eight, the all-out attack. G- Mothra, Ghidorah, uh, Mothra, Ghidorah, Godzilla, yeah. all out of, monsters, all out attack. Sweet. That was, yeah, that Godzilla is still my favorite design. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, those fangs, yeah. best, the yeah. best Godzilla. I, if you I like tell that. me otherwise, you're lying to me. <laughs> All right, you, you're just lying, and yeah, and then, um, then you know the then, uh, what else? Uh, any Japanese horror or stuff? That's that's like big inspirations for me like the really nice designed subtle like faces everywhere type deal yeah yeah uh, yeah that's also another thing i like eyes a lot even though i when i'm modeling eyes usually it's just like just a sphere with some oh. poly paint just yeah you just slap <laughs> it in there you're like i love you but not yeah like, if, not if like... you see my sketchbook it's just all eyes a- oh, anyway yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I also love anatomy. Anatomy is like my my first love when it came to art. Dude, I just wanted to figuring figuring out how to twist the human form into something that's just un like unnerving, and then just ooh, what's up, dudes? Welcome to Noman Crew, Hammy. Thank you. What's up? I, I don't think Steve? I'm part of the crew, but no, you you're know. part of the crew. It's happening. Uh, Oh no! It's happening now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're dying. <laughs> happening. Just like twisting and forming anatomy, and then figuring out how things happen, got me into like speculative biology. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Believe it or not, I uh, at one I always knew I was going to be an artist in some form or fashion, but at first I wanted to be either a biologist or an engineer, and then you know. Kind of put the two together. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of, hard, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, I bridged it. And then I remember uh, I was, like, struggling. Like, what did I want to do when I was older? In college, I took every art class that I could in my co- in my high school. And I was just like, oh, what, what, what are we going to do here? And then uh, I, was, I, I, I did the AP art classes. I was like, okay. And then I got... I did all of the AP art classes and got a five, which is the highest score on all the AP art exams. Hell yeah. So, so ceramics, uh, drawing and painting, yes, design, yeah. and and sculpture. All four yeah. of those classes. And then I got – I'm like, okay, I'll just be an artist. And then talking to my parents about it, it wasn't that great. Yeah. They, <laughs> although, although they never – said no to me my mother especially since she came up from an artist background she always supported me in my artistic endeavors but she's told me is like you sure you want to do it professionally you sure you want a job you sure you don't want to be a doctor yeah of course yeah you like arguing with me so you don't want to be a lawyer 
uh, so I'm like, okay, uh, I'm not going to do that. And then in college, I tried. I tried. I, go, I, went to, uh, I went to school for a few years. Some would say I should have earned my degree in the time I was at school. Okay. But it was not for me. I, uh, I always was just doing freelancing on the side. I've been working freelance since I was 16, ever since I decided, okay, art's for me. I was doing graphic design before. Sure, and I was just like, I mean, that's that graphic design okay. is my passion, Wait, you know. <laughs> websites and t-shirts and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's websites, nice. t-shirts, menus, yeah. menus. It's yeah. so funny because there are like three donut shops in my in my yeah. local area that they're like, oh, he did your logo. We'll get him to do our logo. Yeah. Uh, just like, yeah. okay, it was so funny because these three competing donut shops all had logos and menus designed by me. <laughs> it was so funny. I would go in and if the owner was in, I'd get free donuts. Oh, and... well, see, there you go. That is yeah. Cool. That's big. That's, that's yeah. why you do the art. That's the dream. That is <laughs> that's the dream. The dream. I mean, like, the free donut. I haven't, you know, but then, yeah. as long as we've been doing this, no one's given us like free donuts. I don't think. Uh, um, I mean, the, we, they're maybe, on their way. Maybe we, I mean, I've had they're, some donuts, but. They're on their way. They're, it, I, like I, I, I'll, I'll make a couple calls with my donut connection. Okay, man. I'm, gonna make some I'm looking for a donut connection. <laughs> yeah, but then <laughs> oh. after that, uh, I'm giving you like my entire life story. <laughs> yeah. First, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> anyway, uh, where was I? Donuts. And then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, derailed. I derailed with the donut. Donut derailment. <laughs> where are uh, donuts? Got it. Okay, yeah, the, we're what in my in late teens now. Yeah, and then I went to college. Blah de blah, it wasn't for me. Is kept freelancing. I always wanted to get into video games and movies. So then I landed at a marketing firm after I uh, after I quit college for the second time, and then. Uh, at that marketing firm, I, I worked on uh, marketing and toy boxes for the new. You worked on this movie, Transformers: Rise of Beasts. Oh no, kidding! Yeah, I worked on yeah. marketing. I was making no 3D kidding. models uh, for the toy boxes off you and Ferrero Tedeschi's concepts. Hey, that is rad! Actually, Love I think that. it was before. Actually, it was before your concepts got approved. It was oh, more, wow. I, I, all the concepts I was working off of was, was uh, uh, Ferrero's. See, this is the first I'm hearing it, too. <laughs> like, yeah. No one, tells me. No one, no one tell. I, I knew no they were not telling you because yeah. they sent me a new, uh, what was, Air Razor? They sent me a new Air Razor every week, and I, I was already modeling this thing, right? Yeah. And <laughs> there was no forgiveness yeah. in Hasbro's eyes. Oh, my I'm God. sorry. Oh, this is too, is this too much dirt? Am I never going to work for Hasbro again? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can choose your words wisely. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. No, no, it was a, it was a, it was a challenging situation that I had to bear. Anyway, it happens, but that's that's the the job, right? Like, yeah, that's, that's just well, industry talk. It's it's you yeah, know, it is, and that's at that real, point, you know. And I worked on a couple of other uh, IPs there. It was a great opportunity. It was, uh, and then uh, from there, I got a call from Tripwire Interactive. Uh, so, uh, by uh, Emmanuel yeah. Palalik. He is a great man. He ha he, he and uh, Brian decided to you, grab me and re that's and shove me into my dream as being a character artist. That's what we in, have, bro. In hey, Brian, I, I know the, Brian, and he's got a good eye. So Brian, I, Brian, I, yeah, yeah, oh, that's dude. the man. Brian. Thank He's you. my boss. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. Wink, wink. <laughs> I, love no, no. I love him. I love him. I love him. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah. And then, yeah, so, so now for the past, it's been a year now almost since I've had that. So yeah, I've been, a, so it was one year. It was, so it's about been two years. I've been officially in the industry. Okay. But, but, Prior to my entrance, I worked on a few indie films 
that uh, and like small pitch projects sure. that never went anywhere <laughs> but you know it's the amount of it's it's that work that grew me into what i am today yeah. and it gave me the time to process what i wanted to do and <laughs> that I just want to make monsters and, and monster adjacent things. See, right? and that is, that's so cool, man. And and the thing, the thing about your work that shines through uh, based off of what you said is you're like traditional experience and like the actual medium of art, man, like seeing, seeing your 3d sculptures, I can look at that and be like, this dude could take a block of clay and knock some shit out. I, but, when I was 16, when I was 16, it was so funny. I was on, uh, what was it? Uh, for reference sake, I'm 27 years old, turned 27 exactly a week ago. Oh, so, oh yeah. your birthday, man. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so we're both like 30 years older than you. Well, yeah. You're like 33. <laughs> all right, Matt. Calm down. <laughs> the only old one here is Jared. And he's, and he's 34. And I'm 34. Yeah. This is what happens. This it's, is what yeah. people, hey, we'll I'm 30. Too. I'm 35. Jared's yeah. 36. It, it just we're, we're all wraps good. the skin over your bones. <laughs> I mean, I know. I've studied that. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you're a great case study, Jared. Yes. I need, to, I need pictures later. And anyway, door. I will send you a selfie. Uh, <laughs> anyway, and then yeah, it's been about. Almost two and a half years in the industry. Wow. Working on projects that would give me industry cred. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, man. Yeah, Hell, yeah, man. Well, that's the, you know, that you broke in. Yeah, right? I did. It was 10 years coming. It was 10 years. I didn't break in until yeah, I was like no. 26. I was yeah, like, I'm go. never going to break in. Yeah. So, you know, to those you, out there, you, you to those the, out there that's like you get thinking. It Bones out way. You just went in. You just yeah. kept going. Yeah. That's in. and that's the thing. That's the thing yeah. is is you sometimes uh, you're blindly doing this and you don't know where it will lead. And then like the outcome happens and you're like, I can't believe I got here. And then everybody else who's watched you come up is like, no, no, like we knew this was gonna happen. Yeah, it, like a funny story about that when the zbrush contest happened right yeah. i was I, I have a good friend of mine adam beardall he's a character artist at id software he's a good buddy of mine he oh, told cool. me it's like oh you should do the sculpt off with me i'm like yeah yeah maybe if you do it i do it there you go if you do it i do it and so i didn't even know and then the day of the contest i'm like oh i don't have any of the stream set up i didn't even look at the rules <laughs> So 15 minutes before the stream, I installed OBS. I made sure my t my Twitch stream was still oh, wow. like, active and yeah. all that fun stuff. You just and hopped then... on, huh? Oh yeah, I didn't even. That's check like a light rules. speed jump <laughs> into it. Uh, it's like, uh, and then I I checked literally checked the rules after I set up my Twitch and everything. Checked my rules, downloaded that little banner you need to have on their thing, put yeah. it on my stream, and oh. then read the rules. There fifteen minutes, like uh, like fifteen minutes before the contest started, and I'm like, oh, and then there's like a bunch of these prompts. I'm like, uh, I just <laughs> just thought of something on the fly as I was sculpting. I'm like, I know literally every one of these judges loves like dynamic anatomy. So like Phil Hale was one of the judges. Oh yeah. So, yeah. So it was like uh, James Brown, who's like this traditional yes. uh, uh, bronze sculptor. And then uh, uh, I have Joe Men and then Joe Mena, who is like, yeah, Joe's know, right, in yeah. India yeah. industry yeah. industry giant and also working at the US Mint for some reason. Oh, and I had to yeah. kick this out in like three hours. <laughs> I know. And I kicked this out in like three hours. I was completely uh I thought I had lost. You can see it's like <laughs> like it's like personally I think I've gone way too safe with the submission. Extra challenging because sculpting everything without symmetry. Yeah. I, I, I didn't and you know, obvious I didn't want to use any well, IMM brushes. I, uh, or what anything. was the rule? Like you had to start with nothing or what? 
Oh, you, you, they get, you can start with anything that was in ZBrush. I decided to make it extra challenging by <laughs> working from a, like, a, pr a, a primitive. Dude said insert sphere. And oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just start Let's from. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I always, okay, here's another quirk of mine. Whenever I start any character, I start oh my with God. spear. Yeah, I love this dude. Oh, oh Cram? God. Okay, there's there's a there's a sad story with Cram. Hold on. I was going I was going to speak my piece. Go for it. I love Cram. <laughs> I have loved Cram ever since I saw him. <laughs> and whenever you posted him and you're like, what's his name? And I was like, Cram. And you're like, hell yeah. I was That's like, Cram. That's him. Look at that. Look at uh, those. Let's go back. Let we got those yeah. hammies. This is what we're Hammy talking about right, right here. here. Look at that. This is the real work. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, Thank like, you, dude, and cram is incredible. But you know, we talk about shape language. We can, we can uh, have a little in memoriam here because my favorite boy. Look at him. Oh God, he's so beautiful. Oh, my God. It's like this is just this part right oh, here is my favorite. Wow. Yeah. I, um, and so you said you you start every project from a sphere. Most of my projects start from a sphere. Like everything apart from the things I've been doing with my witch root project, which I've just been using base meshes just to keep sure. like yeah. it, it, it just to, you know, <laughs> start. Yeah. You can actually see a little bit of progression from this one from like there to the top to the render to the final product. I have a 3D print of her. Oh, right let's see. Here. Oh, there it is. There yeah. It is. Yeah. So there's a couple of problems with the print. I decided to, when I was making the hair printable, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I decided to go with this ear because one ear is like a little bit simpler. Yeah. Because it's safer to print. And then I wanted to test the form yeah. with the more like clumped and yeah. natural yeah, yeah, looking yeah, hair. Yeah. So I'm good. I'm going to do another one where both ears have this nice clumpy texture. <laughs> it's just, hard to yeah. get something, you know, that looks good in render to like print, right. You know, it, and feel right. Yeah. I mean, it, it has, it has a lot to do with, I mean, a, like the material that you're, that you're uh, printing in, right. It's so yeah. tiny and it's so physically subsurface. So every tiny little thing is going to be, completely transparent until you hit it with a primer. Yes. Uh, the, the subtlety in your work is some of the, uh, it's, it's the thing that just gets me every time. Every yeah. time you see one of your pieces, like you have these very expressive broad forms there. Everything's very exciting to look at, but you can really, you're one of those artists. You can really zoom. Like if you were to zoom into my work at this level, it'd be garbage. But you yeah, can, yeah, totally. You can, <laughs> zoom into, yeah. you can zoom into your stuff and be like, "This dude fucking sat down. I'm good at a this guy a live story. <laughs> like he was fucking. It's so good, man. Well, these are for my personal IP, so I have to. I and it's it's like a dark fantasy story. I'm I'm not ready to explain what it is yet. Mm. I'm still hashing out details. But, yeah. Oh, this is like a really old sculpture of mine. I did back in college. Is that physical? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a, yeah. It's a yeah. bunch of cast face that I hit. It's like uh, talking about identity and like all that fun stuff. That's another thing I like playing with is the I when I'm doing fine artwork, which I don't really post online, mm -hmm. but uh, I, it's I like playing with identity, casting real people's faces, and then maybe mushing something above. Like there's a piece I'm working on at my studio right now where it's a cast of a of a, 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 a buddy's face, and then I just took it and I squished. I squished the mold, and it's like this peanut-headed thing. That's cool. <laughs> and he liquefied his ass, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, uh, dude, uh, Henny, you should post that stuff. I yeah, would. No, but, I know, but it, it, I, a I lot of me... I, I think it's helpful for digital artists to yeah. see how artists explore physical mediums as well. Yeah. You know, fair. It's not, I don't think it is fair. Like, There's also the type of things as, like, I feel like 
some of these things I do for me, right? I don't. Sure. Not everything yeah, I do yeah, needs yeah. to be totally. seen by seen by the masses. Maybe if you come out to Dallas, I'll take you to my studio and we, we can have fun there. But you it's got a like, studio out in Dallas? I need to come visit. Yeah. yeah. Out in Dallas. Yeah, I'll I've got there. a fine art studio, and then I've got my production work and all that fun stuff. You guys but, want to? Uh, I, I don't know about you. I'm getting itchy. You want to? Yeah, uh, your screen? yeah. Like, I've got I've got my pen let's, ready. Let's go. Unless, unless you have some other stuff you want to show us. Do I uh, have, like, any you have any more stuff? Like uh, uh, Matt, we also have updates on our preacher preachers, right? Yeah, dude. Let's um, uh, let's let's just dive into yeah, it. Have we done? Here. Why don't you Why don't you bring us up to date on uh, the Triple M method trademarked? And uh, your triple, your... yeah, yeah, man. Um, so we'll just we'll play catch up, but this was uh, this is how the the preacher turned out render wise. Uh, look at those hand faces. Ugh. <laughs> look at love those it. hand faces. <laughs> hand faces. That's a uh, hand face. <laughs> My butt. Yeah, man's got a hand face. Uh, and so yeah, man. I mean, like. Uh, kind of going in, uh, kind of going in from nothing. I guess you know the result was different. I think this one feels like a school photo. It does. I like, love it. Like, if it was slightly <laughs> faded on the other, yeah, 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 yeah. It was and perfect. I kept, I kept wanting to do that, like you know, like it, 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 it was like, it, uh, it was like it just a, on him and like classic portrait. It like it was like a five by seven format. Yes, it was just like yes. the head yes. slightly in the corner. Oh. Uh, I would have done it, man. <laughs> I, I think like like you'd adopt him. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you would. Uh, I would in a you heartbeat. Would. He looks okay, like a so, dude, Jared, you started this piece. And hated it up until about eighty five percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and that's kind of like what this this one was because I didn't I didn't go that's in with like a plan. Yeah, and so it evolved completely differently yeah. than where I thought it was going to go. And then so, but but giving myself the deadline of like by by February this has to be done and like printed, right? And that was just the challenge is like let's do something in a month. And see where we end up. And Matt, like, Matt crushed it because he, Matt, I think Matt came in with a very specific idea. And I had, like, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Jared had, like, this broad, he was like, oh, it's going to be kind of like a hell preacher kind of thing. And I mean, I, I was, I started and, in science fiction. Yeah. That's and, right. Yeah, like, that's right. And that's right. right. You just and, kept rolling and rolling until you found something that you liked, and then yeah. finally you finished on this dude. He looked yeah. wonderful, and we got him to print. Is what we I did. Thought. And uh, if you if you, it doesn't matter if you watched the last episode. Uh, you know we were we were talking about printing methods, and I like, uh, you know, is like nitty gritty, like making the struts and things like that. Yeah. So I went with the Matt Miller method, which is he's he just Matt was just like just press press and go i'm like bro just slam it down and and i've always like i've always been like very nuanced and careful like where i place every little strut so this time i tried the matt miller method and it worked and that's what and we so, like here jackie right yeah yeah and uh and so here we go here's here's the final point oh, there he is oh, there Let's see delicious if the, yeah if i can get it just do, put your hand up like this behind yeah you. yeah like right there, behind there it is there you go. So, uh, oh, and, dude, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks great. Yeah, and and uh, it's hard to see on camera, but the the teeth came out really good. It's a little subtle, so uh, uh, going back into the sculpt, I would have to push it a little harder. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, you need to print it bigger, dude. Yeah, yeah, and and that's the next stage is uh, just bigger is better. That uh, thing looks amazing. As it as holds. someone. As so, uh, yeah, as yeah. someone, I've actually worked in like 3D production, as in coming like modeling to 3D print pipeline. Yeah, right. I've done that for years now. Ever since I touched my first 3D print back in 2014 on a little college campus printer, it's like it's love at first sight when you. It is it. when it's Mine. yours and you you made it. You're like, oh. <gasps> Oh, dude, it's, it's worse than tattoos. It's worse than, I mean. That's a Form <laughs> 3 printer. 
Yeah. That's a Form 3 printer behind me. And that thing is like $1,000 a month to run, and I'm paying for it. I don't care. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're just not – it's it's a it's an infinite money suck, but like, but God, oh the feeling, the feeling, the feeling is joy. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, look at oh this my God, yeah. fucking dude, you're gonna have to show that the renders. Perfect. Oh yeah, yeah the renders are on my. Is that on uh, that is that on the Insta. Yeah. yeah, that's on the Insta. I think that's also on ArtStation. If you want like the 4K right, experience. Right the yes. But yeah. also look at the render. <laughs> it is so awesome. Yeah, man. So so tell us about your your texturing rendering process. It's just it looks, poly paint. It looks like a straight HDRI was Yeah, like, dude. Yeah, like this is texture. it's so crisp. Okay, so what it is is it's all in Marmoset. It's just this uh I just split the group the I split the body into groups that I want to separate yeah. with w- in poly groups, and then when I export it as an FBX from ZBrush with uh, set poly groups as materials selected, okay. and then uh, it's all um, all the colors are poly paint, and uh, which turns into vertex color, and yeah. when I throw it into Marmoset. Like every how... material, every material is separate, so I can okay. adjust values yeah. using that. Yeah, that's, and, that's perfect. And for this one, yeah, for man. this one, I actually baked the high poly onto itself because I use Z remesher and I decided to uh, use a UV master to make really yeah. crappy UVs. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's my favorite. So, yeah, <laughs> actually, actually kind of Z remeshed. Z- yeah, just so, just so I can get like normals. that I'm secondary not... pop, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. It's yeah. really fast. Like this guy took me less than four or five hours to do. Dude, see that's that's, that's, that's the workflow that so I have. Good. I just like slam it out. I'm like Z U. I'm like I'm like remember you later. It, slam it in there. <laughs> Z U later, man. Z U later, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Stupid. Oh, oh man, this is great. Uh, so yeah, you split them up into. In this case, you you actually had uh, UVs and all this stuff. Yeah, but yeah, but I still I call I still, them dirty UVs. I don't know. Yeah, they're pretty dirty. They're they're yeah. kind of crap. They're like it's not. You're not laying them out and spending you know time. No, on dude. It. I mean, ZBrush UVs are garbage, but they work. But they work. It doesn't yeah. matter. And I mean, it looks great. And you said I, so I otherwise it, it's just poly paint. Then I baked. So basically, how I get like the super vibrant colors, like in the in the face, right? Like that subsurfacey thing. Yeah. I actually took that vertex color map and I baked it down as a base color, and then I threw that into the subsurface scattering. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You throw that into the channel. Yeah, it's yeah. Such a good scattering cool. channel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's so, awesome. So you have different materials, and the the materials have different attributes, like the yeah. shaders almost. The, yeah, and this one's a little the, bit more composed. This one's a little bit more composed than what I usually go with. If you look at the a predator skull, go up a little bit, right down, 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 down a little bit. Down. Right, right there. That's the predator skull. Insane. Right? This was just straight poly paint, and then for the teeth, I just made po- uh, made them all the same poly group, and added a translucent texture to it. And yeah. I made sure the teeth had a, like a little crease to hide the seam. And that's yeah, it. that's I mean the way that's, it. that's full blown like that's like look dev concept <laughs> workflow. Yeah, exactly. That's, and that's I've always thing. wanted to be a creature concept artist on a movie. Hopefully, if I'm in a, I'm a few, I'm in a few talks right now, but hopefully it'll happen this year. Maybe, oh, dude, dude, I've got the hookups for uh, the live action reboot of My Little Pony. <laughs> if they really I'm want kidding. what I've got I mean. going, <laughs> I, uh, it's dude, a that me, Matt, Jared on. For a long dude, your Pac Man series is dead. This is so <laughs> rad, dude. I love this so much. If you look through that, I've got, I've got all the colors. I love it. 
Yeah, it's the it's the refractive subsurface. Oh, you got guts in there. You got I do. I got a little brain in there. I like you that. Brain. You can see the yeah. you know, kind of the the circulatory system underneath on the limbs a little bit. He's got a little butthole in there. You can see oh. it. <laughs> Let me tell you about the buttholes I've sculpted, man. The the, <laughs> the pleasure that I get for production models whenever I'm in whenever I'm like high end look good and, and you have to like model it from every direction. I just yeah. can't wait to get to the butthole. I gotta tell you. This is cool. This is yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, stylized. Uh, style. Yeah. Yeah. I was uh I was uh very much inspired by like that stylized realism kind of style that the love death and robots has. Yeah. 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 So it's like yeah, that it's heavy cool. kind of blizzardy style, but with yeah. realistic chunky, I want to say like chunky kind of shapes. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Like that's sick. Uh, yeah. That that moss, that moss. Really, really quick, really quick sculpts. Dude, I love some of those are the best, right? Yeah, yeah. Those, are, those are just like free that, etching. That little baby, I love him. This is He's actually oh. I gave this I gave this guy to the lead concept artist at id Software. Uh he it's sitting on his desk <laughs> at the concept page. Incredible in id that software. Awesome. Yeah, that the is angry, fantastic. The, his, his his working file name is the weird angry baby. Oh, dude, that's Evan. Evan, yeah, yeah there he is. I love that guy. Angry baby. <laughs> angry baby. Look at that rib cage, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. It's like I'm it's so it. big, and then the pelvis is so. Like the contrast of like big and little next to each other is just magnificent. It's it's Dude, the it's the reverse snowman. It's the reverse <laughs> snowman. It's the reverse that in like a Spielberg Davies movie or some shit or a yeah. Carpenter Davies movie. Yeah. Like, oh, and then yeah. maybe, maybe, yeah, uh, yeah. That's a really old like. Uh, Sculpt of a this one. Par- this one shreds, oh, yeah. dude. This one goes so hard. Yeah, uh, dude. Yeah. That your Davy Jones yearbook photo. I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's like every creature. It's the same thing. Like every creature does a does a yearbook photo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, this one is yeah. This one's sick, dude. Oh, dude. This one I went ham on his on his skin surfacing. Did it's probably one ham. of the Hammy yeah, went ham. If you if you go down closer, you can find a post with all his close ups, and uh, right there that post. Yeah, yeah, dude. You can see all the close ups on the skin rendering. If you go closer, some of the skin folds. You, it's like re- next, next one, next. Next, one. The, yeah. That's yeah. the one. That yes. looks that looks nasty right I there. See that <laughs> 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 what? Like, you know, you know when someone's <laughs> looking at reference. Yeah, <laughs> doing yeah, it's like, like what am I? Am I looking at a walrus nutsack right now? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look yeah, at that. Doing a lot Look of those fuzzy cool. butts. Uh, there you go. You got the whole oh. peach fuzz going on. That's cool. Yeah, there's it's two so sets sick. of everything. Yeah, this is awesome. Yo, let's get into it, man. Let's start working. Yeah, on dude. Start I am. Some... I am getting really itchy, man. Yeah, you gotta. So, so there we go. My hands oh, have nothing to uh, do. Here, uh, hook up on me for one second, and I'll I'll do my whole thing. Oh, Matt, you gotta, yeah, you gotta, I gotta, you gotta come back. Tell us what's up. Let's check it out. Okay, so first things first. Oh yeah, you sent me a bunch of these. I love that. I've been I've been working on this guy. I've added a bunch of tentacles recently, but if you can take it to my. Uh, camera phone what's it called regular webcam my face <laughs> to your, your take it to my face <laughs> take, it to my face. <laughs> take it to my face yeah i printed this dude i dynameshed the whole thing together wow this is, about, this is a six and a half inch and this probably. is from your your peopoli yeah peopoli peopoli the mo- the know. moai no, it's the Phenom L. I've got oh, the Phenom. Yeah, the high. 
Yeah. So instead of dynameshing, if you want to keep everything without losing resolution, remesh by union. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah, I we did love... that on half of the model, but the rest of it was garbage. And it was very late last night. And I was like, you know what? Jared's printing his creature or his creature preacher. I'm just going to see if this works. And dude, this worked as one piece That's very, insane. very, very well. But you, the way you sculpted it, the way you modeled it, it's all pretty tight anyway. It's not like you had, it's yeah. not like you had uh, an arm piece that like was out of the bounding box, you know? Right. And so I, I spent some, I spent some time, I spent some time like making sure that everything was airtight Yeah. in my Dynamesh model. And I've got a couple of, I've got a couple of issues, but I can just go back, pop a couple of, uh, you know, supports. pop a couple of supports in, run it with, I didn't run it with anti-aliasing on this. There's quite a bit of stepping if you actually look at like the high def shit. But I mean, for a six and a half inch print as all one piece, like, yeah, know, that's the silhouette. That's so looks nice. Nice. It's so I clean. mean, the thing, it is, it's nasty. And I, I kicked open my airbrush for the first time ever in a year. I yeah. bought it a year ago. <laughs> hit it with the Zenithal highlight. Let's go. I hit it with the Zenithal highlight. No, no, I, I, uh, I just did like a, a nice little gray, gray mat on it. Um, but yeah, dude, that is sweet. We are gonna have those, Jared. Oh my god. Oh my. God. I can't you believe know what we're up. gonna have. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. James with the say, <laughs> see, like I, when I'm not fast enough, James is there. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. man, so stay me back to, uh, Hook me back to my screen, and you I'll better I'll save me one. one. Or I'll walk through just a little recent stuff here. Uh, the last thing I was working on last night was I busted open an old project, uh, the Split Giant. This yeah, I we. Dude, I remember when we were working on this. Yeah, and it was, I mean, gosh, it was that's like first quarter. But I've been going back through there. That's how piece. like young and fresh we were. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like naive. Yeah. I was uh yeah, I was just going back through everything and printing everything and just, you know, I wanted to see what he looked like if I got him into a decent scene and uh gave him a little pose. He looks great. He's really he angry. Fantastic. He's awful. Fantastic. Um, but for today, what I'm going to be working on is I want to make a printable version of my Beholder uh, for Monster Palooza. I'll add, I want to do a little base. I want to get some asymmetry. Right. You, you had a Beholder kind of in. Yeah, dude, he looks great. Yeah, I mean, I've got I've I've got a 3D print of this, but it's not something I could mold, and it's not like really a collectibles piece. So I'm thinking I'll probably show up with the uh, with the Cthulhu at Monster Palooza. Oh, oh, it's there! It's there! Oh, oh I mean, oh, 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 Monster Palooza! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably show up there with uh, some beholders, some mon some monster palooza uh, Cthulhu's, and that's what I'm going to be noodling on today. So there we have it, boys. Excellent. So uh, what uh, I think, uh, Hammy, you were just going from a sphere today. Yeah. Heck yeah. Right. Just what well, we're going to see where it ends up. Yeah, what yeah. do you have? Uh, do you have an idea in mind? Or no, I'm just ripping from whatever lines clay buildup gives me, and that's what I usually do. That's how I came up with cram. Cram. I, oh, God. I cram lost. Cram. So so. Cram. A uh, moment of silence for cram. No. Cram. No. I lost his file. No. It came out, out of nowhere. It was on my desktop, and once I look, went to go look for him, because I was going to print Matt a, a a bust of Cram, because I just got my new printer. I love Cram! I was going to print I was gonna print Matt a bust, and I just um, couldn't find him. No. 
I couldn't yeah. find him anywhere. Yeah, dude. we spent we spent hours talking, and he was like, "Dude, I can't find him," and it really hurt my feelings. I took it personally, uh, to be honest. Uh, but I love Cram. Yeah. Cram is my boy. He died the way he lived, <laughs> beautifully. He was, he was born, caming, for- coming out of nowhere. <laughs> I like it. He went. He went as uh, he came as quickly as he left. I'm back on this. Uh, I'm I'm trying to wrap this thing up, but I, I'm just I'm having too much fun with it. So oh, you're, oh yeah, yeah. What, what year was it on, Jared? You're, well, well, you're doing a painting. Yeah, you know, uh, I I just finished like a really big sculpting project, so I kind of like I've been looking at gray, like matte cap gray. So now yeah. I need like I need some color. So I'm, I, I'm continuing on this piece until I decide I no longer want to. I like it. But all this, uh, all this sculpting from a sphere talk has got me itching. So I might jump back over. Just sculpt from a sphere and we'll see where it goes. Jerry. All right. All right. All right. All right. Are we all going here? You know what? I was you do, Matt. I was going to do the beholder. For the print, but you know what? Sculpting sphere. Let's go straight from the all right. Day. From, all right, old school. We call, it, we, call it, we call it straight from the dome. From the dumb dome, the dome, dome, dome. 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 Yeah, your brain hole. Your, let's your, do. Uh, let's spot. do. Let's do some alien boys, like alien just a boys? little. Yeah, just let's do busts of some aliens straight. Bust from the alien street. busts. Look at Hammy uh, taking the fucking. I know, movie. man. He's like, let's Matt, go. Matt and I take forever to decide anything. <laughs> well, yeah. we take forever until it's uh, until, until it's like last minute minute. before the show. <laughs> then we're like, you know what? Ooh, okay, Alien Boys. No alien reference. Boys, no and we're like, okay, thing. we did it. I don't have any reference. So. Oh no, Ref. dude, I love it. No I ref love it. alien boys. This I love is what it, it turned dude. into. I love it. This is this is the best day of my life, I think. I'm not <laughs> sure that it's gonna be happening soon though. Because I don't Seven even know what I right want to do. No ref alien boys. The best the uh the funnest part of ZBrush and, and something like this like reminds me of it is like having nothing other than dynamesh you know you're just like you're just like sculpting stuff on and being like do i like it do i not like it let's, yeah. let's change it it's very it's, large it's binary just, forms addition and subtraction you know yeah. just adding or taking away i just use clay build up for like 99 percent of like the work i gotta i gotta say like yeah. that's yeah pretty much it same. That's it. it's clay build up standard and Damien standard. That's all I use. Yeah, and move tool obviously, but yeah. Oh well, you know if, yeah. if we have to be explicit. About it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see like literally clay build up, damn standard, standard move, then inflate and trim dynamic. That's it. That's like really. That's it. It. Yeah. That's there's it. no. There's no like other secret sauce than like. It's, yeah, if I want to get like quick planes, I just like trim dynamic it up. Let's go find those planes of the character, right? Inflate to get like inflated detail. I don't know. I inflate to get mass and then clay build up for like just that's the multi tool, right? That's the Swiss Army knife of ZBrush. There's, there's that meme of the domino effect and starts as one person. Uh, uh, using clay buildup and then like a multi-billion dollar game and entertainment industry empire built off the back of clay (laughs) buildup. I mean, that's, that's like, that's like, uh, what? That's like my entire characters are just clay buildup with a little bit of skin texture on top. Pretty much. So, uh, dude, Hammy, I've got to ask you a, a question. Ask away. What's it gonna take to get Cram back in my life, dude? I just have to re-sculpt him. Can we get a Cram 2.0? Because I almost—I'm not gonna lie. 
I almost told Jared the whole backstory and was like, yo, if we have Hammy on, we got to do a tribute to Hammy 2.0. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll light a candle for him. I love, I love Cram, dude. Uh, I, I tried even trying to find like old like uh, quick saves. Uh, he was so old that my, all my quick saves oh, got. Man. I, I filled out my quick saves folder too fast. You, you have to like, and, and in a way, this is why documenting your your progress on stuff so important because I, I have like so many crams that I've lost over over the years. And, then, and that's when I started getting really like guarded about how I save everything out. It's so funny because I am too. I've lost files. I actually have a hard drive and I copy everything into that hard drive like on a weekly basis. Yeah. Right? But it wasn't even in the hard drive. Like Cram was nowhere to be found. I love Cram. <laughs> I miss Cram. <laughs> I miss Cram. <laughs> He's taking this one hard, man. I, I'm, I know. Oh, dude. Well, I mean, Henny's been dealing with it for a couple of weeks now. I was hard. like, bro, <laughs> tell me about Cram, and he was like, "He's gone, brother." <laughs> uh, worst day of my life. No, I felt that way when I lost uh, Crumb, my my oh. Crumb fan art I did years ago. Because like, oh, oh I want to print him so bad, but. He's just gone. Do you have any of the other ones? <clears throat> no, but I do have all my Rugrats because I did like I did all five Rugrats and I only like printed Tommy. I only I only saw Tommy and Chucky. I never saw. Yeah, oh, you I, know what? dude, you I know went. What? You showed me. You showed me the twins. I, I I I went all the way to Angelica. I don't know if I saw Angelica. Yeah. Uh, so I. Do I still have it? sure i still have it this and again this is because i started getting really like careful about oh my god uh uh so saving my files because of you know the heartbreak of Speaking like of heartbreak, file. I, just, I just lost my entire zbrush file no just yeah. now yeah i mean just now just now it crashed and it, it died See, there's, oh, there's no, nothing you can do about that. Telling me my license is screwed up. No way. Yeah, I'm having like a license issue right now. <laughs> How? <laughs> I, I, How is I, that I happening? Don't, I don't know. Like, it literally just killed itself on a license thing. Yeah. Uh, Even though the email from yesterday says, thank you for resubscribing to. <laughs> oh, no. Here. Uh, oh I'm gonna, I'm gonna no! Back out. Did they hit you with that? Um, the they with hit the him with Maxon, the update. with the Maxon update thing. Dude, right. I don't know. I, I'm gonna back out for a minute. I'll be uh, back. Yeah, just as Matt's leaving, but here was Angelica. This is oh where, man, I love her. Yeah, this is as far as I had taken her, and I think I was I was gonna keep tweaking her pose or something like that but matt's gone so he, he can't see it now because he's having a license issue whatever we're just going with alien busts then yeah that's what we are that's, that's what we where are. we are yeah and yeah it looks like you like the the like exposed mouth I do, especially for the more recent aliens I've been doing. It, it, it's kind of funny how uh, uh, we all go, like artists tend to go to shapes that we like and are comfortable with in our, in our kind of comfort zone, I guess. I don't know. I do the same thing and it's kind of unconscious. I don't know. I was going to give this guy like a huge underbite and like be like. Meh, 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 meh. All, all, all my that. guys. All my guys tend to be like in my mind, Doug Jones. <laughs> you know, I just think of Doug Jones for everything, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. But it's all you know. It's about like distance from from shapes. You know, like aliens always have like their eyes are really far away from their mouth, or you right. Know. You know what? That gives me. You know, I'm never afraid to just go womp. I'm a, on a sculpt. You yeah, you, just... you, uh, you, when you, 
I, I think a lot of like a lot of it is happy accidents, just like pushing and pulling forms. Dude, around. half the time when I'm making it uh, like a creature, I'll like just save it and then I'll just go wow wow. Do you ever? Wah, wah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I. Okay, so I've been teaching. I teach in Omen. I've been teaching for right. like 10 years, and I tell that to my students all the time. Just like, just go for it and like break it and see what, what happens. And so I'll clone it as I go and kind of like watch the evolution. And I like, I like mouths that are really far away from eyes, like really long, weird faces. <laughs> Same. The, the, the T shape. You know, the tends to be that's the like all my aliens have like that T shape. Oh like, man, there, there are things that just kind of like always work, and the T shape is one of them. There was like an indie game that I was working on. Uh, I was a character artist for this rich guy. Just had a bunch of money making a personal game that he can play with his son and no one else. So it was just like this nice. weird. Yeah, he was this programmer guy, but. Apart from that, I designed all the aliens for him, and he's like, "Can you make uh, game ready models for these too?" And then he just became a dictator afterward. But I got to design all the aliens, and most of them, they all had to. Most look of that like part became, was cool. Yeah, so I was just like, most of them had like that T shape, and then the last alien I designed, I just turned it upside down and designed it from there. Yeah, or uh, uh, what I'll do is uh, uh, I'll mirror and weld. So I'll like, oh yes, I'll flip him uh, or uh, you know mirror, sh you know shit or like flip it over, mirror it. Yeah, you know, so I, I set it all up on hotkeys because I was like, because uh, mirror and welding is so powerful. So I'm just like, why not? And then you get weird, weird shit and weird shapes and stuff to run with. That's actually kind of fun too. See, and so I would clone as I go. So like this is where it starts, and then you end up like over here with like a little butt head. <laughs> yeah. But like happy accidents. Do you have a, per a perpetual license? I'm surprised that the Maxon Switch didn't get to you. Uh, I do. Yeah. And I believe I need to update anyway. If you want, I would, I, I kind of wish I had a perpetual license. I didn't want to keep paying. Yeah, <laughs> my, I, had, my... I had a perpetual license or, or have had, you know, since the get. Um, well, yeah, just, uh, I guess it's just, the nature of everybody going subscription. Yeah. It's, it is uh, it is inevitable, I suppose. It's Thanos. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Thanos, you know, collecting them all. And so we do what we can to survive. But if they killed Keyshot, that's what would, that's what would really do it for me. That would suck. That would yeah. Hurt. But uh, looking at uh, knowing that all your renders are in Marmoset, man, that's that's pretty killer. I'm actually yeah. gonna have to rewind uh, our conversation just so I can go back and uh, pick up some of those juicy Marmoset tips. I will. I will actually show you exactly what I mean. Let me just. I figured you'd get there. I figured you'd get there, but yeah. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Uh, give me two seconds. Where the heck is it? Where are all my marmoset scenes? There they are. Okay. Uh, you want to see the elf or that. the dwarf? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one do you want to see? You gotta tell me which one you want. Which one? Marmoset, marmoset scene. Which marmoset scene? Show me the. Show me which one. Show, I have plenty. Okay. Tell me what you want. Show me, show me them all, man. I want to see. I don't know. Well, they they take a while to open. They've got. Gotcha, full gotcha. Full. gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I'm just greedy. Um, your pick, Elf. Okay. James says Elf. Okay. James wants to see the Elf. He gets this the Elf. Our Lord and Savior, James. I know. Dictator. I know. Well, you. 
It's important to have a decider. Yeah. Here is my elf scene, right? Uh, so, oh, I've locked this camera. So let me look at a camera I did not lock. Uh, another free update. Woo! Anyway. Uh, camera two, I'll unlock that. And then let's see, let's move this to camera two. Which camera is this one? Oh, it's that one. Uh, let's lock that and go to camera one. Or I could just duplicate this camera. There we go. So I don't just destroy my scene. Camera three. There we go. Oh, look at that. My mom commented. Beautiful. Hi, mom. Hi, handy mama. Hi, handy mama. Be on your, be on your best behavior. My mom's here. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. So. Wow, dude, they look so cool. If you look at it, like all these are just different poly groups that I've attached to it, and if we can go to the geometry, you select. If you select like material IDs, oh, there it is. These are the different IDs on this. And so you, uh, uh, you just paint material in ZBrush. Or... Yeah. Okay. So, so the, so I just, uh, I just mask out my poly groups in okay. ZBrush, right? And that'll dictate where each of the materials goes. Gotcha. 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 So this and, uh, uh, is that, um, is that saw is that thing solid or uh, is it estimated or it, it's it, it, this is the full fledged uh this is the full fledged the uh, high res high, high res. res and it's uh i think it was that's moving really that's moving so nice for for high res yeah well i've got a beefy computer i did tell you before yeah you're right you did you did. i have a i have a pretty strong uh solid one but yours is that looks great I've got 128 gigs of RAM. And yeah. It's all working, right? Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear it like breathing heavily in the back. <gasps> so yeah, these will show you like all the all the groups. So the hair's got a group, the eyes got a group. The eyes actually got two groups because I've got like a transitional group in there too. Yeah, that's a, that's great. And then the uh, uh, the, the wet of the eye. Right. Yeah, the yeah. wet of the eye around there. Yeah. That's actually just the inner eyelid. If I wanted to, I probably could have just put a secondary mesh in there and added like a glass material. But sure, yeah. Uh, I I'm like, the render didn't need it, and if I did need it, I could have just painted it in, which I never paint anything in, so I should have just put it in. <laughs> You know, I get really lazy, like towards the finish uh, line, because you're because you get uh, uh, fatigued. You know what I mean? Like, you're, yeah, like you, on on this elf specifically, I was on it. I, I was on it like after work every day for like three weeks, right? Fast. So, and then and then yeah, you you get to a point where you're just like, ah, I think I'm done, and I don't want to do any more on it. Well, she's gonna. She's a full character, so I'm gonna give her clothes and everything. It's just uh, I'm just done with her for now. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. When because uh, uh, eventually you got to jump back and you know do something new. And... There, yeah. I it, I, I, it, I don't want to get bored you know, like, with my own work. It comes in strong. Yeah, I don't want to get bored with my own work. You can see a little bit of Tilda Swinton. Yeah, you can, you can see a little bit of. Uh, a couple of Asian actresses. My mood board for this one was like a bunch of um, African American models and yeah. Tilda Swinton and like a bunch of stuff. And I was just like morphing this face. I'm like, dear nose. Let like, and I was like, what is the lore behind these guys? So this, the the five minute version is there's a root. There's something called the witch root, and this is called the devil's root. Uh, there's two witch roots, the god root and the devil root. The devil root will sacrifice your body in order to have more arcane and mental capacity, right? Increases knowledge and magic. And 
the god root uh, takes away your brain, but adds stamina and strength type stuff. And to answer Hugh's question, yes, the hair is fiber mesh. Uh, I, I, yeah, that looks right. Yeah, all the hair is fiber mesh. And so on the eyelashes, it's like three strands of fiber mesh that I then control drag into into the right spot to get really granular with it. So, so is yeah. this all GPU or CPU? The, it runs off your GPU because it's yeah, a, so a, a kid to a real time like, engine. Real time. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's insane, dude. Yeah. I, Look, I, I, I can actually tell you the poly count of this thing. Uh, it is 35 million triangles. That's so, yeah. That's not Yeah, that's not that bad. Well, that's triangles, right? So what is that, like 15, 14 million polygons? Yeah, and that's just the head. Remember, this was a full character, and I don't, I, I don't think we some, need more than poly that. math. And they say, and they say we don't like math, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, dude, that looks fantastic. Wait, that's it's so got to cool. let me let me get the focus to be right. Give me a second. Uh, let's see, focus. Oh, now it's thinking. Oh. No, what's going on? Give me a second. Now it's chugging. Yeah, because you started getting close. There you go. Yeah. Then you can... Do, do, do. But yeah, these lips were fun. I spent like a good two hours just like figuring out yeah. the lips. There's actually like a subtle scarring of like maybe the point of infection or something, some battle damage right where this lip got s slashed into the nose. Little little bifurcation there. Yep, hair lip, but it's not like a hair lip because there's no natural curves to it it's more like a battle damage just like slightly healed like a couple weeks old maybe but yeah so it, all i do is just paint in and then you can uh like if i wanted to it'll come in with different uh poly groups and if you hit that poly groups as materials button It'll tell that FBX to separate all those polygroups into different materials in Marmoset. And then I can then adjust values from there. Like I can turn off the vertex color on the lips and add, like, make them blue real quick. That's okay. Oh, wait, it's still white. Let me give me a second right there. Make them like blue. Yeah. And my secret, my, my, my little trade secret don't steal uh <laughs> is instead of using regular uh, regular um uh, subsurface scattering i love using the subsurface and i love using the volumetric scattering right interesting and then i'll use it like it uh, and i'll i'll adjust it and i'll turn up the anisotropy and the anisotropy and as a and the anus, anus trappy. I don't know. Anus trappy. My mom's You're not a trap, doctor, man. Okay? <laughs> anyway, and, and if you turn that up, it just, uh, it's basically like how far does the subsurface transfer into, uh, uh, how far the subsurface scattering comes back and bounces out to cause translucency. So it's yeah. like a double subsurface scatter. Huh. So that's what this uh, really volumetric cool. scattering is. And so you get like these secondary like light trap effects that can be like tertiary details. And you can change the color of that. Uh, you can get like these fa fancy, weird, buggy almost color palettes. That's how I, I get like alien skin, maybe translucent horns, stuff like that. Yeah, it, it's that it's cool. gotten it's and 
it's based on the topology of the model too so it really works great in these situations where you throw in like these super high res models uh, and that's a little bit of that yeah and you had the the ring uh i noticed the the ring geo around the eye too that, that ring is actually just the inner eyelid <laughs> it is. okay yeah that i just baked which if i turn off the eyes let me turn off the eyeballs oh wrong one uh right there it's literally just the eye socket oh, that i just turned into an uh its own it's got its own uh group yeah right there it's got its own little group yeah that's great and do how you, do you mainly use Photoshop or do you use like a node editing software like Nuke or anything like that? I'm a Photoshop boy. He's a Photoshop boy. I'm a Photoshop boy. He's Adobe's Adobe's got Adobe's me by the balls. I think I think we're all by the balls of Adobe. I mean, dude, it's it's an arm and a leg to to get nuke or anything like that, right? Yeah, unless you get it through your studio. It's still not yours. It's still not your. It still doesn't belong to you. True. Matt, did True. you get it worked out? Uh, yeah, I had to do updates. I had to do. I had to tell him I wasn't a criminal. Had to fill out a background check. There was all sorts of crazy stuff. And more, you, most importantly, I lost my sculpt, so I had to start over just from a sphere. Uh, start your uh, uh, share your screen. Oh, is it not shared? It's not shared. You got to share. Yeah. yeah. You got to yeah. share. You got to share. Yeah. You gotta share. Yeah. Yeah. Did you give? Did you give? <laughs> <laughs> you got to give. You got to give. Yeah, so now I have I have this. <laughs> this is what I have. Now we're it's starting. Okay. You know, I'm going I'm going lizard. I'm, I'm going gonna... a little frog. I've got a little frog going on mine. I haven't so. I haven't decided exactly like is he political? Is he evil? Is he a mercenary? I'm just kind of going for it. I want all of our guys to be bros. Bros. Oh, we're all friends? Yeah, we're boys. Okay, oh, well, like, Cantina, like Cantina boys? Yeah. Yeah, just some yeah, 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 yeah. sharing some blue milk. Oh, uh, I'm into it. I'm into it. Okay, so I already know. My dude, he doesn't have a traditional mouth. He's just got these folds that kind of fly <laughs> And they make a, they make a oh, 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 sound whenever, whenever he uh, <laughs> whenever he All right, so... Uh, uh, and Hammy's got, Hammy's got the frog. Hammy's got a frog. Hammy's got the frog. A frog. Oh, my dude's gonna be there in like twenty minutes. I'm ready. I'm ready for us to hang. Where are you at, Jared? What do you got? Uh, I'm gonna go bug. Oh yeah, I see the bug. Yeah, you oh, gotta go. Uh, you gotta have because like every group has to have like. A, the bug. Every group has to have the bug. Everybody yeah. knows that. <laughs> well, it's I'm, like you gotta have frog. You gotta have the frog. You gotta have the flappy guy. <laughs> <laughs> you Those gotta have the, the frog guy. Those are the rules. I don't make the rules. Like a, a like every cantina needs needs these guys in it. Ooh, Alex Alvarez is in the house. What's up, brother? Oh my you god. Doing, man? Alex Alvarez. Alex, you're going to have to come on and sculpt with us. Oh, dude, yeah. We've got to sculpt some cigarettes together, dude. Come yeah. on. Wait. we got to sculpt the dude that has cigarettes. We, uh, so the rule is we're starting from a sphere. From yeah. A, and a then sphere, just, no, no reference, just no sphere. Uh, yeah, sphere only, no ref. And then uh, they're Cantina Boys. Yeah. Cantina Boys. They're Cantina Boys. Like if you... Like... 
<laughs> oh, dude, I'm I'm full cantina. Okay, saving as. Hey, yes. you guys, don't forget. Save uh, your I, files. I just quick save. I just quick save real quick. You can quick save that attitude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just I see how it is, Matt. I see how it is. <laughs> He's in. You're, He's in. Buy, you're buying the blue milk now. I am. I'm going to call it blue milk 01. Nailed it. Here we go. Hitting them with the blue milk. Blue milk. Blue Huge milk boys. Yeah, dude. I, I feel like, you know, in the next half hour, we could have some blue milk going on. Like, okay, now. What are their professions? What do they do? Uh, oh, they can just speak old college pals, so they all have different. <laughs> yeah, I mean they're they're old college pals, but they've all grown up to like you know pursue different aspects of their life, right? I mean, like uh, like one should be like involved in like waste transport. Yeah, and someone needs to be some sort of addict. I, I think my guy's gonna be a gambler. <laughs> <addict>. <laughs> Yeah, the guy with the flappy gums gambling. is a gambling addict. That yeah, my, my dude is a gambling addict. <laughs> yeah. My guy does construction and waste management. <laughs> he does waste yeah. management. And that's like the that's like the intellectual description of his job. He's like, oh, I do waste management. It's like it's like, bro. He had other he had like a chance before, but he missed it. <laughs> he went to college. He went to college. <laughs> but he he got a degree in philosophy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he nailed it. His parents never forgave him for wasting their college money. I, I love I love that this is happening in the chat right now. Dude, Alex Alvarez, I peeped your art station and it has some good ass art on it. Man, wait till you learn about Alex Alvarez. <laughs> Man, just wait. Wait until you learn what Alex has done. <laughs> yeah, just, just just wait and see. <laughs> yeah, man, just keep keep diving in there. Like Alex made us. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's the we, we are, <laughs> Oh, we Alex has made many many of us. And my guy, I think, uh, I don't know. Tell me. He sells like transport converters. Okay. You know? So oh, he's a he, mechanic. He, he delved into the, uh, he delved into the retail life. You know, yeah. He's got a yeah. Marriage. He's not he really as vocational school. as it seems. Yeah. He went to vocational school after high school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They were all like top football players or whatever <laughs> space ball. Oh, that's gonna change. Like, I love I love space ball. <laughs> <laughs> that's the uh, that's the one. They were they were big into space ball. Alex would say, "You guys made yourselves. I just gave you a place to hang out." And, well, that place was very important to us. Newman. Newman. Ah, yes, he is Mr. Noman. It's true. He is Mr. Noman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, my guy is just like a... He, he pretty much works in a shop and he sells transport converters. He has what to do make the converters transport? He makes, uh, like, shipping calls. Okay. He makes shipping calls. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Can someone tell me what a shipping call is? You make it. sure your sh your shipments get in on the dock at the same time every day, okay? The That's space dock. He's, it's kind of like uh, uh, coordination, you know. He's he's doing uh, he's doing a lot of complex things. He's middle management. He's really like he is middle management. <laughs> He's, uh, it's more like data entry, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this starting is, to... I'm it's actually changing to... how I'm sculpting him, too. 
because like now I've, I've I've come up with a much more like meek personality. I'm you starting to think that my dude is he's a uh, he's older and he's he's upset about everything. He hates they're all people. the same age, but they all age differently. Yeah, he he yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hates everything that's happened in the new generations. He's very upset, you know, and he's just like, back in my day, you could throw down 10 garbles and get a chibble back in no time. And then, you know, I mean, he's, I mean, he's got a lot of wrinkles. Maybe he's a little, he's a little snotty and slimy, I think. I'm going to start, I'm going to take Is away. Is he a of, boomer? Oh, <laughs> Oh yeah, he's he's alien boomer. He's like Kenny Chesney's the best, you know what I mean? He's like, he's like <laughs> space Kenny Chesney. Space, space, Chesney. space Kenny Chesney slams, you know. He, <laughs> he loves it. He's got a he's got a cosmic fiddle in his in his truck. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he's just a wrinkly, fat old alien that loves betting high and risking low. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> so should I should I give him nostrils like a nose flap, or should I just keep the nose flap and the nostrils? Man, I have been debating that like since we started. Okay, so between you and uh, Hammy and Jared, let's see both of y'all together. Okay. I haven't even added eyeballs in yet. Well, here's. Like I was going more like this was one direction I could go, which is kind of, it's kind of like Jiminy Cricket. Yeah. Oh, dude, that is, uh, with the lips is awesome, dude. Well, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like the lips do the talking, and then the big chest cavity does the eating. Oh, yeah. down here. Yeah, yeah. secondary yeah. mouth. Oh my secondary god, secondary mouth. He's got two mouths. Okay, then so be it. I love when it. When he burps, it echoes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Hammy slams. This is amazing. Those are the facts. This is like the, the X Factor you need. You know? Next week on Hammy oh, Slams. Character X Factor? That's what I got. That's all my characters have. X Factor. <laughs> Whether or not they're done well, that's a different story. But X Factor... I'll give you ideas. I'll, I'll give you some weirdness. <laughs> I'll definitely give you an idea. Oh my god, amazing! So now I got to give him some like lips then down in the 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 lower mouth, but like insect lips, alien insect lips. Do it, dude. Figure it out. No ref, but I. You know when you you say no ref, but you have some ref in mind. Always. Well, that's that's in it's mind. the mental library. That's the, the mental, mental library. library. Yeah. I just look at pictures all day and then expand. My brain expands on the daily. I've always had that that quote in my mind from um, Carlos Fuente. He was he he I was love that man. He was just like. He's like, use reference, but like, don't use reference. Just like memorize it, keep it in your brain, and then just do art. And before I was even like educated in art and drawing and anatomy and all that stuff, that's what I did. I just looked at comic books and I used their interpretive art as my mental reference. And I just drew stuff. You know, you're always just kind of creating new things. And, uh, Whenever I, I talk that, to, I take that every time I do a piece. I don't get, I don't get married to my reference. Sorry, what were you saying, Hammy? No, no. Say, I was about to just expand on what you said. Whenever I talk to students and they tell me, "Is like, did you make that from reference?" I was like, "Yes and no." Yeah. It's like, of course, I'll have reference on hand because Google is a thing, but I also say, don't be a slave to reference. If you're making something. Look at a picture, memorize it the best you can, and then just draw what you remember. And whatever you remember is probably the most important bits from that reference. And that's what you should exaggerate slash accentuate slash, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
It's all because it's all your it's interpretive reference, right? You it, don't want to create what's in the wild. You want to use it and make something unique. It, exactly. You have to find your voice as an artist, and it's like, where do you find that voice? Is like, how do you see the world? And the only way to figure out how you see the world is like what stands out to you when you look at something. Right. And the best way to do that is to look is to look at something. Oh, Andy, you're a uh, you're my you kid. Yeah, tilt back a little bit. Super. You're getting set. There you go. I'm not there gonna touch go. it. <laughs> uh, Cowboy Twitty. Okay, what was Con I saying? Conway uh, Twitty. Oh, dude, this dude's from Arkansas. If he's talking about Conway Twitty, Conway, talk about Conway Twitty. <laughs> I will take credit for Matt off the record, of course. Donk show, donkey show. Oh, dude, that is that is hilarious. <laughs> I just Matt's into. I don't know who that person is, but I already like. It has him. to be Max, right? That's my guess. No, I, I don't know who it is. It could be a million people. <laughs> my greedy ass dude is coming along, though. He's got flaps. <laughs> the man is a flap. Man's got some flaps. Man's got flaps. <laughs> my guy's got some character brewing already. Yeah, uh, I like the I like that lip. Oh, yeah, dude, he, dude, he has to have a cigar. A cigar or a or a cigarette. We'll figure it out. Maybe. Space pipe. Hookah. Let's yeah. He, I mean, look, his, his bottom lip is hanging on to something in his mouth. I might be moving that. Give me. I might be moving it off to the side so I can get some – you catch some personality in on him. So give me a second. Work your magic. Yeah. Yeah, I feel stuck in the T face now. I want to get out of the T face. Should I go Y face? T face, Y face, go X face. X face. <laughs> uh, M face. <laughs> oh, dude, honestly, I love, I love the. I love the ridiculous downward move. <laughs> you can, you might be able to work something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, where the eyes are like lower than the mouth is always fun. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Push these eyes forward a bit. Yeah, I feel like I feel like all the Spielberg stuff. If we're going Cantina, is like. Their noses are always huge or something. There's always like some sort There's of like really the... broad kind of mammalian nose shape. That yeah. Makes them... or, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe add a little walrus in there. Yeah. See how many times like this. That thing... is definitely already a Star Wars alien though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100 <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think you need to bring it back yeah you're right <laughs> i i love where this was going the two mouth insect cricket man that's incredible dude that happens to me all the time especially in concept i'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, take, I'll take breaks I'll, I'll take breaks much uh in in like higher frequency whenever i'm concepting because i need fresh eyes like every 30 minutes you know I'll, 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 I'll work for like 45 minutes or an hour and then i'll step away for like three or four minutes and come back and be like oh okay i need to do some serious th or maybe i'll just undo everything i just did you know what i'm saying all right i'm gonna need some input here should i go with the flat chin or should i go giga chad flat giga chad. i like flat 
I like flat too. I like flat because it's got. Okay. Yeah, and then it like kind of goes in on these like weird neck muscle things I've been working on. Good call. I was. That's what I was leaning towards. Just needed to make sure. Oh, Matt, that's great. He looks like he's got neck folds. Oh, my God. This is like the original species of the um, <laughs> invader clowns from the the clown that – in. Uh, Killer space clown. Killer movie. clowns. Yeah, oh, killer clowns, clowns from outer space. space. Yeah, that's like the original species. <laughs> yeah, I like what that. What they evolved from. I like it. The deep lore. The deep lore that connects Star Trek to killer clowns. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, there's the the unified unified theory of everything. That you could connect all universes together because now everybody's got a multiverse, so it doesn't matter. Everything's a multiverse. Now. Everything's a multiverse. Start working on the silhouette. Looks like garbage. Always does. The garbage. So, how do you get through like the garbage phase? Because every sculpt has a phase where you just hate it. Dude, in my in my experience, the garbage phase really comes with like not doing due diligence of every angle of your sculpture. You get too cons. Uh, well, what happens with me personally is that I get too concerned with one angle, even even like two different angles, right? Like front and three quarter. I'm like barely moving in sculpting. That's whenever I enter garbage for me. Whenever I start getting, like, uh, I don't know, what's the word, just methodical with it, and I, like, work for a while in front, and then I go here, just like what I'm doing now, and, like, adjusting my, adjusting my profile, I'm like, I find this to help a lot. I, I let's see, I just feel like garbage mode is whenever... I like start second guessing like some of the prior decisions I've made like halfway through a sculpt. Yeah. 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 That's that. Yeah. I feel that. That's like where I feel like garbage mode lies. And then sometimes I'll just stuck it, suck it up. Or that's when I do like a really drastic change, like throw the eyes down or move the mouth up or give them a concave face. Like when I do a drastic change like that, that's w – and then I'll figure out whether or not the design I had previously was fine or what I had going. It's kind of uh, – yeah, you're, 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 te you're like stress testing the design. Exactly. Like, you know, that's, uh, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. You gotta go through phases. Really. <laughs> it's so hammy. You know? While you were saying all of that, watch watch this screen. I was literally doing what you were saying as you were talking. We're all doing that. We're all you're doing, like, I'm just doing the You're same. like, you know what? Sometimes I'm just like, fuck it. And look, I went from this. <laughs> this is crazy. Right. And now I'm in love with this guy. But now I'm in love with this guy. That's, that's the, uh, uh, okay, now let me show you where, where I was at. Because uh, uh, yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> see, it's universal. It's, it's the universal. law. It's part of the like, like <laughs> I was like I was starting at like Max von Sydow. Yeah, right? that's where I was like starting, and then it just like okay, and then no T face ah insect maybe insect I don't know fucking uh, uh okay he's got two mouths where now he's got one mouth it's back to turtle and here we go. Yeah, I still want that second mouth though. I know you I know you like the second mouth. I'm fighting it. I don't know why. Because it's out of my comfort zone, probably. Don't you cry about it, Jared? Damn it! Not allowed. There's this no is my episode. This is my episode. This is my episode.
Yeah, stress testing. It feels like that's it. I like putting, the way you're putting the design through its paces. Yes. But okay. Matt's got a good point is like make sure you're spinning around the model. And then what we're talking about is like just pushing and pulling shapes. Exactly. Until we are dead. I'm going to go too much. Second mouth wants to be beakier. I know it wants to go beak. Maybe that's kind of the fun of it is it's kind of like, like a bird and it kind of like shoots out a little like speared tongue. And that's like how he's lapping up his food. And he's just like, yeah, yeah. But then while he's eating, yeah, the little cricket mouth is talking. He's like, well, yeah, mostly I fill out purchase orders. Sometimes I look at my sculpts like really small so I can see it all. Oh, yeah. Take it all I, I in. Same thing. Zoom. Yeah, I just erased 188 steps because I didn't like where I was going. Oh, yeah, dude. That's, <laughs> that's, every, that's every day you're just going and getting rid. But that's. I mean, man, and, and looking at like how the creature preacher started, totally same way. Just, I might need to have a little bit of body to figure out this guy's anatomy, then cut that body off later. That's <laughs> oh yeah, just for like visual reference, huh? Yeah, sometimes I'll do like a full like rough sculpt of the body of the character, even though I know I'm just going to reference. I'm yeah, just going to yeah. render the head. Oh yeah, for sure. This kind of helps you figure out the rest of them, dude. A lot of my renders and stuff that I post is just headshots of an entire body. <laughs> like <laughs> that's literally every render. Yeah. That's just a head is a full body. Oh yeah, there, full there's body. a full body there that like makes it makes me make sense of what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There, there, there. I think what's coming to light is that there are these universal truths in like the process of discovery, and it's n like never easy. But if you like, if you kind of just keep with it and instead of I, I don't know fighting and fighting it just going going with the flow I'm gonna give a little bit of cram to him just a little bit of cram. Oh, nice cram. Cram. I'm got I decided to go droopy eyed yeah I love that he's like yeah. a set. I do purchase orders I do purchase orders. <laughs> Yeah, because he's kind of pathetic. He's going to be really, really pathetic. <laughs> yeah, I do purchase orders. Are we just doing the bust, or are you guys actually pushing beyond it? I'm pushing beyond now. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten I've gotten too far. There there was a, a question earlier, um, which was uh, the green one looked like you could play a mean tuba. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Oh, got uh, that uh, that is not a question. Uh, <laughs> do you ever do paint overs? Oh yeah, for sure. I, no. I think more for clients. Yeah. Like but, I'll go ahead. Yeah, I would say that's more of like a production thought process, I would say. Kind of like like what would the client want, and then you paint over it before you commit to a sculpt. But then I wouldn't do paint overs on a personal project. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. If, uh, every now and then, whenever I'm like deep, because I have a couple of intellectual properties I'm working on, and every now and then I'm doing loose stuff, and every now and then I'm like, let's go. Like, let's, 
let's go all the way in and I'll do versions for myself and stuff like that. But that, that is rare. Like you're saying, right. It is, it is most assuredly like a, a client side thing that you offer. I, I think because you know, you're going to be getting, giving so many options to a client. So it, so you don't want to go through that process right. of like burning through, you know, a bunch of stuff. I, I don't know. And then if, and then, you know, if you're doing a sculpt, the most recent sculpt's always going to look the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I will like, I'll, I will like use Epic pen or I'll like kind of annotate on top as I'm going, but not a lot of paint overs in the, uh, I think in just like day to day, I want to, you know, when I'm sitting down to make something. I kind of love this weird intermingled anatomy I've given him. Matt, give him a name. Oh, who would he got? Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at, let me see three quarter and zoom in on him. I, I, oh yeah, I need to see that. I need to see the I need to see that jowl. Give me let me get a profile. Okay. Yeah, that's looking ooh. Okay. What like a like mm, a no, I'm thinking I'm thinking are we ooh. thinking like a ch or a wh or I'm like thinking a, there's an ander. I'm thinking there's an ander in there. It's like a it's like a, it's like a it's like a blander or like a a a a gym d. A gym d. A gym d. That is the stupidest name, dude. You got a name, Jim D. His name is Jim D. Definitely not an ander, but a gym d. <laughs> it's Jim D. Ander Tittlesons. Tittlesons. Big, <laughs> dude, I love um, big. Big, is big. Good. big I, is good. It's so funny because I I named a I named a sculpt I did like a while back. Big, love big because he big. was very big. Big. Uh, his name is big. His name is I big. Love big. Big is good. Big wins this round. My mom said, "Goat in a coat." Goat in a coat. That's his safe word. <laughs> coat? His safe phrase. <laughs> <laughs> his name is Big. It's so funny because I had like these holes in his neck there since the beginning, and now I found like a repeat like a repeated rhythm for him to go through into the body oh yeah you just get that shape language man yes yeah that's, really that's number one thing we like all right uh i guess i'll start a body then it's full did you add did you add like any spheres or are you just pulling out yeah oh i i, I added a sphere just one sphere and now i'm just just a little for a, a little for a little extra clay yeah a little extra clay in there Big. <laughs> All right, Matt. Who's yours? What's your guy's name? Let me look at him real quick. Let's Give take a look. A... Hold on. I want to say like a Florp or a Siler. <laughs> Silas. I like Siler. I, I, Siler. I like, I like the I like the Orp. I like the Fla. Flor. Slurp. Or. Slurp. <laughs> I'm thinking hold on oh I don't even have a basic material on this guy okay <laughs> man did man man did <laughs> no mandrid mandrid Marvis and mandrid the, I like Marvis that is definitely a Milarid Matt Klimp. Slarp <laughs> is his name. And we're going with Slarp. <laughs> Slarp, Big, 
And let's look at this uh, bug boy now. He well, he's a ball. smart. Yeah, he's much more like pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> he is so sad, bro. I <laughs> relate to he him. He hasn't had a decent conversation with his wife in like three weeks. <laughs> Dude is upset. <laughs> he's like i'm just here to he just something. he just realized his wife's vacation wasn't really a vacation <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's bad oh man what are we going with what are we going with oh uh, it's gotta have a d it's gotta have a d in there somewhere i like feel like, like he's something weak like larry you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like he's like a he's like a Larry or like a, a Calvin or like uh, well I want to say like Lurch or like a L- Lorm or Lloyd Lorm. Lloyd Lloyd. Lorm. What about Lorm? L O R M. Lemmy. Lord. Lloyd. Larmy. Libbins. 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 <laughs> Libbins. L- loves. Butarkis. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, does that even, what does that even mean? Butarkis. Lumpy. Like he needs like a lumpy or a worm. Lormo. He's just so damn pathetic. I'm going to give him, like, at least four or five saggy boobies. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. He's just got a lot of, like, sacky lumps. <sighs> Let's see. Lorvo. Lorman? Lorman? Uh, Marvin. Marvin. Mjorvin. So, so slimmy. Slur, slurmo. Bacharach. Back. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? What, what if his name is just like Maxwell? Maxwell. <laughs> I think his name needs to be Timothy Dalton. Slim, slim, Slimothy. Schmanathan? Schmanathan? Woo. Maboo-boo. Maboo-boo. <laughs> Go calm down with that, Max. Mm, see? Someone's a Maxwell. Someone, yeah, it's Max. There's Max in there. You know what I hate about 2023? What's that? ZBrush 2023. When you do local symmetry, you can't scale from the center of an object anymore. Yeah, that's uh because that's they local changed transformations, man. Yeah, th- because they changed it to when you use local symmetry, it uses the gizmos rotation. I'm like, is there any way I could turn that off? I think there is how- there is a way. I think you can turn that off. Lardis. We got a Lardis in there. Okay. Oh, and his arms look Lardis-y. I mean, yeah. this, guy, this is the dude that, like, can only, you know, say, like, three words in a sentence. You look Lardis. <laughs> you no, know, like... he's supposed to be able to do purchase order. <laughs> he's he's like Lardis. Gold membership. $29.99. <laughs> That's all we did. Give him like a little like computer. Give, give him like an iPad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I might actually have an iPad. Let me see. I did might have an iPad model. Larmdo. Lerm Lerman. Or Mundo. I like Lardis. Lardis? 
Lardis is good. I like Lardis. It can get there. We're, we're getting some. Get there. Love how the last one's always the hardest. Yeah. Yeah. The first ones came easy. It's just the instant. Yeah. I do have a book. I could give him a shipping log. Oh, we are set. I'm going to quick save it up for a big baby boy. Should I give him like AI hands? Multi, oh, multi fingers. 17 fingers. <laughs> Fingers just everywhere. I like it. He walks it. around like a gecko. There we go. Okay, he's got his little, he's got his little like unit for purchase orders. <laughs> he's, oh, there checking it is. The, he's, he's checking at them. It. He's checking them in the cantina. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's so obsessed with his new job and wanting wanting to do good that he just can't separate his. Social time with his <laughs> work time. Sorry. God, I hope I got all the orders right. Sorry, guys. I have to answer this real quick. My boss is kind of a dick. And he's just a, he's just a, what is he? He's like a temp at that place. <laughs> he's, he's, I'm not even full time. They said I could get full time next week <laughs> if I did good this week. Oh. Poor Lermis. Lermis? Sounds Lardis. like Lermis. Lardis. Lardis. He started off kind of crooked, but he's ending up a little, he's starting to feel a little gelatinous. My guy is starting to look like the dude that orders the critters around in the critter universe. <laughs> Should have it's super like tiny hands. Yes. Lunsford. Oh, Lunsford is good too. Lunsford is good. Yeah, it has kind of a regal, like old money name, which is actually a good. That's a good. That's a good call for your character. Lunsford. Okay. What's my guy's name again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember my guy's Me. name. Bro. Me. <laughs> You're Slarp. Oh, dude, I'm Slarp. Yeah. I'm Beak. Oh, that's right. You're Beak. Beak, Slarp, and Lardis. Yo. Okay, well, do you know what we have to do? We've got to do a puppet thing on it. I'll make a bar scene. And oh, we'll you're right. We at the bar. We're all going to be having Slarp and Darps. Slarpins. I yeah, feel like he should have tentacles instead of hands. Like these weird flippers. Flippers are always, like anything webbed is always going to work in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, because they're just easy to manufacture. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they're just sleep. Exactly. They're just sleeves. Okay. I think I'm about to send my dude over to Keyshot. Is anyone else rendering yet? Oh, not yet. Yeah, I, I need to send my dude over and see what he looks like. Let's see. That's Matt's already going for it. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know how I do it. I slap it down, slam it around. Slam, it out. He slammed Amers. It's the triple M, dude. You know. <laughs> the Matt Miller method. You know about me, dude. All right. I guess let me do some. You think by now I would know. But it turns out you don't. I. You think you know and you don't know. You know. Let me do some surface noise just to get some surface noise. He wants to do some surface noise just to get some surface noise. Damn right. 
Lor Lorvo. You know, you, like you know, my guy's got to have like a really low voice, Lorvo. Yeah, let's see. Let's look at it with the blend. I don't know what they did to the blend material. It doesn't look right anymore. It's a little, uh, the highlight's a little sharper. Yeah, it blown them out. That You got to use basic material too now. Weird flipper things. And then, you know, I love the ZBrush guide brushes. I feel like they're like my life savior. Yeah, he's really good. Uh, Pablo. Yep. Yeah, he's awesome. I love his brushes. I use them all the time. Yeah. I pay, I, I pay. I actually paid for two licenses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, totally. Uh, I, I, and his stuff is all great. Like, it's all really oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Like, he, he, he gets ZBrush. Like, he gets, like, how to make stuff in ZBrush really good. I, I don't go on that, like, level of granular, like, I'm going to make a brush that does this. I just kind of end up using whatever other people make. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I got. Let's see what kind of surface texture. I'm gonna add a little bit of these right around the edges. There we go. I'm going to clean up the eyes a little bit before I go. Oh, no. Didn't mean to weld the eyes together. Blue milk underscore oh one. <laughs> you got some blue milk. Uh, you guys got any blue milk? They're at the bar. Just ask the bar. <laughs> just go it's like why are you asking us jeez you've always been like this slarm <laughs> slarm slarp. Slarp. <laughs> come on slarp come on slarp oh now again There we go. Poor Slarp. Poor Slarp. I'm into it. I'm ready to hang out with Slarp. Like little expressive things like how the lids sit over the eyes really is going to define how pathetic your creature is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. My dude's greedy as fuck. <laughs> He's got a habit. Oh, look at that, dude. Yes. He's he does greedy. look greedy. He's greedy. He looks super greedy. He's like, I want this stuff. I want your things. I'll probably I'll probably replace his teeth and eyeballs with some real some real stuff pretty soon. But uh, you know, for an hour sketch, he's greedy. He looks greedy. No, he's got the the teeth. I think the teeth do. It. He's got that. He looks like he laughs like this, like whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and his you little don't understand. And his little flaps kind of like flap as he laughs. Oh yeah, dude, you absolutely. Know? He looks like a flap laugher. Oh, he's he's a flap laugher for <laughs> sure. The dude is a flap laugher. He's got a full on flap laugher. Dude's a flap laugher.
I feel Anyways. like I'm in that meme. Is like you guys are already rendering, and it's just. Like... <laughs> I'm just making this weird rocket butthole fly around. <laughs> rocket butthole. We love it, dude. We love rocket buttholes at Creature Corner. I mean, that's just a big part of the job. If you haven't made a rocket butthole, then have you really lived? Have you really done it? Have you really created a creature before? Dude, the funnest thing I ever did in uh, production work was there was a creature that Jared designed. It was made out of fungus. It was for a Chinese movie. Yes, yes, I know who it is. And his, we named him uh, Burfer. Burfer. And, <laughs> and uh, it's true. And he had all these like kind of bagpipe extremities coming off of his rib cage. And for the very end of the movie, this this creature was like camouflaged in the woods and it pops out and all of the uh all the little bagpipe appendages and extremities come out and fart on the, <laughs> on the main creature of the movie and i had to you know model texture and sculpt on the design model for all these bagpipes and had to texture a bunch of basically buttholes for the ends of each of these pipes and I took a picture of Donald Trump doing the doing the, yeah, the yeah. thing with his mouth where he's like, Ugh. and I just took a picture of his lips and turned it into a bump map and put it on all of the <laughs> on, I textured every butthole with a bump map of his lips, dude. <laughs> that's the way to do it. And that's a real story. I believe you. I believe you. Believe. I, believe. Believe. There you go. Yeah. Poor, poor Lermis or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> whatever the hell his name I already, is. I think my dude's name is Slorbo. I can't remember his name. <laughs> it's Slormo or Slurmis. Slarbin. Slarman. I don't know. Let's see. What do we got? Lardis and Lunsford. I yeah, see. Lunsford was good. Oh, we got Pappy in here is good, too. Pappy? Yeah, no, Slarp. My dude's name is Slarp, but Pappy is really good. Pappy is good. Pappy. Pappy is nice. There we go. We'd like to see that, wouldn't we, Jackie? Or Slurmo. <laughs> We're just going to... He's going to have a thousand different names. I have to go back through our chats for like months to figure out names of some of the sculptures I've done. <laughs> I'm like, I know we spent three hours repeating the sculpture's name. We just, we got it. We just would say that. <laughs> Lor Lorvo. Poor Lorvo. I just wonder where this guy's organs are. <laughs> but he might, I mean, like, he could keep his organs in his legs. Yeah, right? Like I, learned that, little, I learned that about in his butt. They, they keep their organs in their legs. So he, you yeah. could put organs really anywhere. Yeah. 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 The coolest part about it is that it doesn't even matter, and you can do whatever you want. That's the best part. That's the best part is none of it matters. Uh, to you, maybe. To okay. You. I love making sense. I love making sense of my creature's anatomies. Oh, dude, of course. We all love it, too, but sometimes you just got to slam it out to see if Slurpo is doing a burpo. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Lord God, we're going we're gonna to figure out the name of our character. We're gonna we're gonna have this down. I love Slur huge fan of Slurmford. 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 Slurpeppy. Slurpeppy. 
Serpepulin teradiferol. Teradiferol. Yeah, that's a that's a medicine that you take for uh, heart palpitations. <laughs> you know, you could have made that name up, and I would have believed. I, I probably would have believed you. Guys, I literally did make that name up, and no, you we did. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay. Let's see. Oh, look at that face. That is such a greedy face. He's upset. He's got, dude, he's got like toad eyes. That's fantastic. He's getting there. He'll get there. Call this guy L Lermis. Lermis is good. Lermis, Lermis is, is really it's good. Lermis. I like Lermis. He's a Lermis. I'm going to call my guy. This guy is like the most Lermis looking dude. I'm going to call I'm going to call my guy Slarbo. Slarman. Slarman. Right. Slarbo. Slorbo. His name is Slorbo. Like Kevin. Right. Kevin I'll, get Slorbo. To, I'll get to rendering to give me two seconds. Let me add just a couple more details. It's never done, right? Never so, done, only never do. Done. It's always do. Only do. <clears throat> was Mer Miller. Okay. What did I just say his name was? <laughs> Lerman. 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 <clears throat> oh, God, he is such a Lerman. Uh, you like my guy? Weird little tentacle hands. Let's see him. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, your dude slams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slord Lorbo the turd. <laughs> <laughs> it's more more turd. That's I my... love how we just turned into five year olds. That's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, hey, just just to be clear, Jared and I didn't turn into five year olds. We've been five year olds for like Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah. You, you're experienced five year olds. Yeah, we we've been here way longer yeah. than five year olds. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Over over time, you do enough of these, and you just your brain uh, becomes completely smooth. Yeah, it was it was literally a session like this that that little creature with the little sickle hands. You probably saw him, right? That's how he appeared. Was like a three hour demo I did for some of my friends. Yeah, you just you just hang out and get weird. Yeah, I, I love how you uh, I love how you took you took initiative and told us you're like this is the this is the uh, this is the prompt today. This is what we're doing. No, I, I and and even earlier I was like, "What do you want to do?" And he's like, "Ah, eh, we'll just you know do whatever." But that's how it goes. Sometimes you guys are all pals. They're coming to have like their weekly drink <laughs> yeah. of blue milk at the <laughs> cantina. They witnessed Luke Skywalker cut off that guy's arm. And they're like, damn, I'm wasted. <laughs> that's, but that's a story that they tell each other over and over. Remember when we saw that? Yeah. Remember when that <laughs> Jedi guy got the fucking loose sword thing? And yeah. Cut that guy's shit off? That guy was, <laughs> he was being a total dick. I, I think he deserved his arm getting cut off personally. <laughs> I agree. I agree. It may not be politi like uh, politically correct of me, but I think an eye for an eye, you know. Learn <laughs> for there's always a character that says their name for everything, like, like Groot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn for degrees. Okay, time to turn off symmetry and get weird. Let's go. 
keep grouped, remesh. I'm about to do some noise plug-in. Oh, look at that face. That is amazing. <laughs> He's getting there. He's getting there. Append a sphere for the eyes. It's in his butthole for some reason. Oh, that's the best part for it to be in, dude. Later. Yeah, <laughs> later. Oh, <laughs> maybe that's not like a butthole, but that's like where the snail foot comes out of, right? And he just balances on one giant gelatinous foot thing. I swear to God, the more I learn about snails, the more they terrify me. I love Absolutely snails. terrifying. I love snails. They're my friends. Yeah, they they saw that dude get his arm cut off, but they weren't about to do anything. Oh no, they were like, like they were so were... on the blue milk that they thought it was on the TV. <laughs> they yeah. were so <laughs> on the blue milk. <laughs> I love that. Dynamics and into dynamics. Oh, dude, I love using dynamics. It's the best feeling in the world. I used it to make like, uh, what was it? I used them to make like bat wings, like really stretched yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I. Sometimes I just do those things just so I know how to use it, and then I'll just you do it the hard way. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, well, sometimes you got to sculpt. You just got to sculpt it. Yeah. I'm very much a brute force sculptor. Same. Same. I always find like, I, I you just got to push really hard into the clay, and sometimes, uh, sometimes you don't want. Lurm, Lurm, Lurmford. 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 Hold on, guys. I have to make a call. <laughs> My <laughs> boss is calling for the third time tonight. My boss is calling me. Lurm this is Lurmford. 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 It's me. Well, Turns out my temp job didn't accept me for full time, guys. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, man. Anyway. Poor learn food. Then. Then you do the calculation. <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude. What is this? Look at the teeth. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Please. Yes. 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 Look at Elongate yeah. them a bit. Elongate them a little He's bit more. Ready. That dude ready. Look at that guy. He's ready to That's hang out. Great. <laughs> he's definitely he on that blue milk dude he's on that blue milk he's a blue man <laughs> it is so 
Oh. <laughs> but it's, wait, it's him. Look at him. <laughs> he looks like the type of dude that would get like some false teeth put in so he can identify with the humans a little he bit more. Loves to gamble. Look at him. <laughs> He's got issues, dude. He's got big issues. Mm, I feel good about it. I'm glad that he has a problem. His problem is good for us. Yeah. Trying to put expression on an alien face without, like, mucking it up. Oof. Without changing the, uh, yeah, that's always hard. Yeah, but I got it. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah. I'm gonna print this guy. I just got new resin in today. I'm gonna. Nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to print him now. Bird. Matt's taking a five, and then he's coming back. That's fine. We all need breaks. Even the, yeah, especially if you're the weak. I'm, what? <laughs> well, he's got his dog. He's got Slayer, man. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's got a pee. That dog it's, pees a lot. It's a pee dog? A pee dog. I got dogs and they pee. Yeah. I always wanted a big... I always wanted a dog, like a big dog, but then, you know, big poops... Uh, it is true. I've had big dogs, and they have big poops. Fair. It's very fair. I mean, you kind of know what you're getting into. And you're going to clean up some giant dukes, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> big head, like tiny mouth. I love how my guy's just like, just floating around. Hmm. Should there be like a jet booster shoved inside that giant? Oh, mouth? just kind of, yeah. He just kind of putters with the little thing. Boop, 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 boop. It's like... Yeah, your guy like hovers above the table. Yeah, exactly. Lurmford. 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 This poor dude. He just sucks. He just <laughs> sucks. He, he just, just sucks. He just sucks. He just sucks, man. Let's just do a fill object on that. Let's add a Kind of looks like a chicken head a little bit. There's just a little bit of chicken in there. It's a little bit of chicken and it works. He's just got just enough chicken. Yeah. He's got a hard beak. Yeah, man, I'm going to have to try that uh, that marmoset trick. Yeah, marmoset? I do. I like it. I haven't like played with it on like a deep level yet, but man, looking at the renders. I'm, a, I'm about to throw it into Marmoset. If you want to plug Lermford into Marmoset and just follow would, along. Oh uh, yeah, let me uh let me, let just, me, let me name everything. Yeah, let me let me quickly His name is Lermford. <laughs> <laughs> let me quickly give this guy some materials and then some poly painting so we got something to work with and then fill object all right. 
Oh my god. It just has so much, like, just enough chicken. It's just, I love it. <laughs> Perfect. He's just like, he's just so pathetic. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Sprinkles okay. and blorbs. Blorbs. He's got little blorbs on his body. Have you ever used the blob brush? I I have. I like it with um I think it works really well with sculptress. I haven't tried it with Sculptress. It, uh, you know, because like it distorts the it distorts the mesh, and and sometimes in really interesting ways. But yeah, if you turn Sculptress on, let me blobs brush. It uh, it just kind of keeps building. It's great for like disease. Yeah, I actually used it on like a weird fungal thing the other day. So I was like, I love blob brush, especially. Like when I'm working, like on like monsters, I'll be like, "Oh yeah, give me some of that blob brush." It, Especially, it, it's kind of like in it's like an inflate, but not a little a little chaotic, like a drunk inflate brush, you know? <laughs> yeah, it gets a little uh, it gets a little wild. You can really, but you can really push it hard to do some fun stuff. I don't use it. A, I probably don't use it enough. Uh, yeah, I've been using it a lot lately. So I've been like, everybody use blob brush now. I need to start, I need to start using it. Uh, uh, I use it a lot in my skin texturing to get like some, like on it with a very small intensity huh. on top of like an already textured surface to get like some variable. So if oh, that's I really use interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see. Low low intensity, like eight or nine, and then just on top of an already textured surface, just to get just a bit of variation on it, on like this <laughs> nose area, just so it doesn't feel like if you have an alpha there, yeah, you know, it it just breaks apart that alpha really nicely. The uh, the kind of like repetition of the alpha, exactly. Ah, that's really clever. Yeah, especially since I like doing like these hyper detailed things, and I use a lot of alphas sometimes, especially okay. when I get so granular. And I, I yeah, just... to get that kind of close up, you got to really you got to lean into the alpha, and then but then you worry that it's going to become too alpha ish. Exactly, and I'm and, also, yeah, yeah. I'm the type of guy if it's like if it's not in the sculpt it's not real so I won't fix it in texturing. Matt, just, we talk about that all the time. All the time. All the time. If it's not in the sculpt, it's oh. not real. It's listen, gotta be listen on to the this man. He knows what he's talking about. See, that's the wisdom. That's the wisdom. We talk about that all the time. All the time. It's kind of dangerous in game dev though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You'll be in you'll be in on something forever but you know you got to know where your pitfall lies and then just dodge the pit when it comes like mario just jump over the holes jump over it hit the brick hit the question mark get the power up Get the power up set yourself right. on fire you only really get the power up after you hit your head on a question mark brick exactly you know that's i you gotta, and you gotta Chris, hit your head. Chris Pratt knows that. That's the wisdom of Mario. That's the wisdom of Chris Pratt. That's the wisdom of. Stop, please. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it. 
No, I actually am going to watch that movie like the day it comes oh, out. Oh, dude, yeah. Uh, uh, it's going to make a billion dollars. Yeah, but I, I got to. I don't think so. Matt, it's going to make a billion dollars. I don't think so. I think it's going to be the first video game movie to make a billion. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't. <laughs> I mean, you want to bet, like... I don't. I think it'll this. do. I'll think it'll do better than Sonic, but Dude, I think Sonic was awesome though. Sonic was awesome. Yeah, but I think it's gonna do better than Sonic, because Sonic didn't have Jack Black. Yeah, but dude, I, I, Jim I Carrey know, was. I in don't Sonic, know if that stands because you've got Seth Rogen as Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. And then you've got Chris Pratt as Chris Pratt as Mario, and it's garbage. It is. But this is like the first, like real Mario movie. There's I actually been love old... the '90s one. I love yeah, the, the '90s, 90s one. I gold. love the '90s one, dude. It's a the garbage. '90s one is gold for sure. It's it's like it's amazing. And I... and even today, even today, like uh, I you see people like uh, uh, make memes about. Uh, you know, oh, look what I typed into an AI, and they're like, oh, look, see, it's Mario. Yeah. I don't know what that means. And I, I, I botched it. I botched yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what that means. I've got to be okay. honest with you. <laughs> now, there, someone made a Twitter post. I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> someone did a thing. Someone did a thing. It was funny, you. and I'm not going to go looking for it. And I'm just, I closed up that mouth, but I need to get that volume back. I closed it up just so the render can have something. Yeah. Nice poofy lips. There we go. Kind of like a pitcher plant in the face. So funny. I just sculpted a pitcher plant for a zoo. Pick pitcher plant? A pitcher, pitcher plant. Oh, pick, pitcher. It's like a it's a, it's a carnivorous plant that eats bugs by filling. There's a like a sap inside a bell of a flower, and then it uh, it, tra it the bugs fall in and the. It, 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 oh, it, I know what you're talking. Okay, no, I know what a pitcher plant. I know exactly what you're talking. About. I know it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because they have the, they have the big bells. That they got like the yeah, characters. yeah, yeah. It's what Victory Bell, the Pokemon, was based off. Of. Gotcha. And Bell Sprout. <laughs> uh, well, it's also, also, everybody knows. It's what also we're more about. important to note that it was also based off of uh, these things. These things. This is what we're talking about. Exactly. Right. They 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 secrete like a dew. That attracts uh, insects and frogs. Exactly. And this one actually has the bell is filled with a sappy fluid, similar to the uh, the dew that's on other carnivorous plants. It's so cool. And then it just liquefies them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just a, gnarly, it, awful nature. It's just is, a living stomach, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the living stomach. That's a great prompt for later. Is that not uh next time I'm on. <laughs> We're gonna make that soon, man. We're gonna make this a regular thing. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Please God, don't do He's it. like, no. Oh. I can only handle so much Matt Miller. <laughs> <laughs> I'll That's die. What we like to hear, John. John. <laughs> <laughs> what we like to hear, Jackie. War, war, warman. War. Uh, I love where this guy's going. He's such a confident bad. He's the confident one in the group of friends. Yeah, my dude is just, he is sloppy. He, and he <laughs> is the exact opposite of yeah. Lerman. But they've been, they've been friends ever since they were kids. Yeah. Yeah, like every friend group has to have like those personality, <laughs> you know, archetypes. Bird. He's awful. My dude is awful. 
He's the worst person that's ever existed, bro. Stop. <laughs> You're hurting his feelings. He is so bad. <laughs> Be- Beeg's gonna beat you up. <laughs> it's probably already happened. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's even better. I love it when I break symmetry. It's always like the most satisfying thing when I start introducing asymmetry to a sculpt. Oh yeah, dude. I I, I love that. I love that as well. It's one of my favorite things. I hate it. It's scary. It's, also, it's, it's scary, fun. But, it's it's fun scary but exciting. It's fun for everyone. It's fun for the viewer. It's fun for the artist. And it, yeah, it is. It's terrifying. But dude, that ZBrush so- sculpting contest, I literally started from scratch in asymmetry. I love it. Just so I can have that extra challenge. Because I didn't care about winning. I was like, I'm just going to do this, see where I get. Love it. And that, and, and look what it got you. That, that uh, you you probably surprised yourself, right? You're like, oh, oh man, dude. No I way. was watching. I was watching the awards, and I was about to turn off the awards because I'm like, oh, it's no way I got it. And then I heard them say my name, and I screamed. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I, I I screamed so loud. I thought no one was home. Thank God. But <laughs> I, it w- someone would have called the police. That's incredible. I would have had to explain how I did not just murder a little girl. <laughs> the shriek. That, the shriek I the shriek that I that came out of my body. It didn't come from my mouth. It was like full chested. Ah! Just screeching. Screeching, crying. All right, boys. I'm almost out of here. I'm about half. Yeah, I think we're over. getting. I mean, we're getting close. Okay. Let me. Let, I gotta get, do a little render then. Let me do some quick poly paint and let me throw this man into a render engine of some sort. Uh, poly groups. Uh, uh, let's see. Masking, quick mask, mask by cavity. Let's do like fill and then let's do some reds here. Change my brush. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to do some quick paint. <clears throat> yeah, some quick paint so I can show off my marmoset skill. <laughs> uh, Make all you old boys cry. <laughs> well, but you're going to you're going to make you're not going to make me cry because I'm so old that I won't be sticking around for you to get in a marmoset. <laughs> You're a crybaby. Okay. He's, he's, a little, <laughs> he's a little violent with his language. You're a crybaby. The biggest crybaby I've ever known. <laughs> it's not true. Come on. You're a worse crybaby than my like four-year-old nephew. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Violent. whoa. <laughs> He's getting no need to get violent. I have to. He's the one that's been asking me, how do you do all that marmoset stuff? Oh, that was me. That was me doing that. Oh, no. Matt's been asking <laughs> me for oh, like... Oh, no. The that past- was both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's been asking me for weeks. Okay. I asked you like one time. Three times. 
and I'm I'm excited to learn. I'm I've I've got to tell you though I'm not excited to learn like an extra hour into my it's, it's, I mean dude we're we're in the same time zone right it's like eleven thirty right there. No, it's like ten. Th- oh yeah, it is eleven thirty. Yeah. You're just a little baby. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mister Mister. I'm just being mean. Yeah, you are being mean. You're being super mean. <laughs> <laughs> I was like yeah, super excited to have my new best friend on the show and now he's like, hey, by the way, forgot to tell you, I'm super mean. <laughs> you fucking crazy, you never guess it, but I'm way super mean. <laughs> All right, let me grab things right here. Just really rough poly groups. Then we can... One volley group, so volley group by mass. Group mast. Don't forget to save your files, boys. Good call. Thank you. Learn for. Learn for. What's everybody saying here? We've got. I've learned the hard way. I made an asset for a movie recently, and now I'm trying to lower the poly count so I can have two versions. Decimate. Oh man. I mean Yeah. You, can, you can do that. <laughs> but it sounds like he's talking about for production, which it's not that easy of an answer. Man, I wish decimate I like I had come up with the name of Decimation Master for a band. The Decimation <laughs> Master. Decimation Master. Okay, that's one poly group. Is there any other poly groups I need? I need one around this butthole area. Oh, there we go. There it is. There's my dude. All right, let's let's see. I've got my dude. Look at him. <laughs> 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 Look at my stupid dude. He's so great. I love him. Oh, Slorbo. Okay, now I gotta export this guy as an FBX. What a beautiful man. Uh, I gotta I gotta name all these things. Uh sphere. Uh nah, 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 it's all okay. We're good. Uh I, I'll figure it out. <laughs> uh we, I've got no time to name things. Don't do as I do, guys. Name your stuff. Uh what was this guy's name again? Uh Big Big. 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 Uh, FBX save. So when you do it, you want to do polygroups as mats if you've assigned your polygroup. Oh, okay, polygroup. Oh, okay. As you export as a, a FBX, make sure you don't have selected selected, but you have all. So all mm-hmm. your sub tools go into one. Polygroups as mats. <laughs> and then you can just, uh, there's a preset for tool bag. So I just, that's Marmoset tool bag. So that's the program I'm going to be rendering in. And then I just print OK, and it just writes the data, and we'll figure it out. Does the magic. Does the magic. Uh, <laughs> I just I just saved over my Cthulhu project on this. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I just, while you were talking about your... <laughs> I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to save my file. Nah, man. It's called Cthulhu.pip. <laughs> <laughs> the true Cthulhu. Yeah. Well, there he is. Yeah. And then I import my model. I have a desktop. Big. Open Big. Big. Ah, 
Yeah, he is. It's taking a while. It's only a million polygons. It shouldn't take this long. There he is. Okay. And then all you got to do is make sure you set your render to ray trace, advanced lighting. I go for like five bounces and transmission. Do I need transmission in the scene? No, but I'm going to just hit six just to, for the fun of it. And then these are all my materials in the scene. Anything that doesn't have polygroups will just ha be like a default material. Mm -hmm. So I'll just hit that and I'll do vertex color and basically the butt and the eyes have their own vertex colors applied. Then there's the vertex color for all three of these. So I just hit vertex color for all these guys real quick. It is. And then mm -hmm. vertex color. And then those are my three poly groups uh, on this body. And let me just set up my viewport samples to something that can be rendered easily on stream. And then I like doing my CPU denoising to 0.33. I feel like that's a sweet spot. My shadow quality to mega. I love that. <laughs> and mega. Ray, ray trace everything. Just make sure everything's just maxed out. Let's make this a 2K render. Instagram only does 1,800. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then, oh, man, it's thundering like the Dickens outside. And then, let's see. I want to grab this guy's body asset. Let's go to a transmission volumetric scatter. Oh, you got to double check your scale when you're using a real-time render yeah, engine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so your subsurface scattering's not fucked. Like, this guy's the size of a a, a gecko. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I so. love that scale reference that they put in Marmoset, too. Yeah, I love, I love it. it. That is so... It's so handy. It is. And then, you know, what? because that's center of the world, you can even make them float. And you can put your ground plane there and whatever. Also, there's like a uh, there's like a bridge for even even that he has a little mustache too. Yeah, that's oh. Teddy Roosevelt. You know yes. that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lermford. And then let's see my scattered depth. Big and I uh, anisotropy. I can just do some mega big, mega big. Yeah. So I'm just going to play cool. with. So then da, 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 da. let's see how much scattering do I actually want? What color scattering do I want right here? I'll like lighten it a bit, maybe give it and that'll like change like the skin tones, right? Just to show. So let's play with that. Figure that out a bit. Let's go back to like a bright red. Let's give them like actual flesh. <laughs> a little bell. <laughs> it's just yeah. jammed in there. It's as a little jetpack. His internal jetpack. Okay, and then let's do volumetric scattering. It's like, let's see. There we go. Nice and meaty. Looking. Oh, yeah. 
And then uh, if you do like a matte material on these, you can start to see like a bit of the change across so you can get like that alien skin. That's really cool. Yeah. Then I uh, gave his face like a different. So let's make that really shiny. And then let's add a Dye it this color. Let's do a metal material. So just turn up the metallic and turn off the sRGB. There you go. Just a little metal jetpack up his weirdness. Up his weirdness. And now it's time to set the scene, boys. No, oh, boys. Turn down the brightness. Let's get some lights up in here. Yeah, well, turn sure. down what, though? It's a little John joke. Uh, for what? 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 Turn down for what? 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 <laughs> what? What? Turn what are we doing? What are they selling? Dude, the, the directors of that video are now nominated for an Oscar. They, they directed everything everywhere all at once. And they directed Turn Down for What? Really? Yeah. Yeah, and the video is insane. Oh, yeah, the Daniels did it, right? Yeah, yeah, the Daniels. Fucking crazy. Yeah, here's Speak in his all his beak glory let's oh i gotta turn turn on safe frame on this camera safe oh yeah he looks really flatness now like at least those those tippy tentacles yeah yeah that's really cool that's fun and then I'll do like different blending techniques with the poly paint and just so everything starts to put together. But this is like really fast. Let me see if I can get some other. You can also stack speculars on top of each other. You just duplicate get... the, uh, the object or? Uh, you can. That's one way to do it. Another way is you, you with your clear coat reflections and stuff. So you can have like an under like a uh, specular on top of a specular like uh, uh, car paint. Okay. Yeah. Oh, with, oh, with clear coat. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I need to flatten out this camera a bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sixty-five. That's like a good portrait. <clears throat> Lens. Da, da, da. And then let's do sixty five and then focus. Turn on ray trace depth of field. Now he's just a blob. There we are. See a little bit of bug in him since there's a dots for eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dude, I like him. him. I love this dude. Yeah, he turned out fantastic. He fucking slammed. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I like uh I'm gonna 
I'm going to have to put uh, Lermford in Marmoset tomorrow. I'm about to put myself in bed. In bed. In bed. All right. All right. Well, let's let's do a check in. And if we haven't mentioned it yet, we're on the road to Monster Palooza. Okay, you know, I, I know we were, we were planning on being more annoying with it, but we got we got sucked into the zone. Um. All right, uh, Matt. Why don't you show us where your guy is at? Sure. Lermford. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that winning smile. He's upset. He wants money. He wants money. He wants money so bad that he decided I could overwrite my Cthulhu file. <laughs> he was greedy enough to take it from you. Yeah, look at him. I mean, that's a greedy dude. That's a greedy dude. He likes that dude, it. That dude loves the money. He likes it. That's beautiful. That's where we're at. Yeah, dude, that was a that was a fun prompt. That was a fun, uh, like uh, just starting from a sphere as well. Like that's always a nice feeling. No reference, just no rep, no rep. Jump in, make something weird. Yeah, Uh, we like it. I got a close up of my guy. Yeah, let's go to Hammy. Beautiful. Look at that, dude. That's gorgeous. Look at those lips. Those beautiful luscious lips. You like his tongue hands? I do. I'm a huge fan of the Hammy tongues. (laughs) <laughs> he feels, you know, he feels very hammy. He looks like an earthworm uh, <laughs> that you would eat. Yeah. Like yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. like you would. I want to suck on the end of those legs. <laughs> you know, like maybe they got like a raspberry, blueberry. Uh, they actually, uh, they, uh, they, it's the same chemical as the scent of blueberries. Oh. <laughs> so when these guys were in the wild, that's how it, they would attract their prey. Oh, they, they make them, they would like make them lick it. Yeah. And then they, and then like, they strangle them. Strangle so, them. Okay, I see. Get them. I like it's it. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Terrifying. Terrifying. What food? Mm-hmm. All right, and then uh, finally, Lermford. Oh, great! I love his mustache. The mustache. Yeah, I, thought, I thought he needed like some hairs or something. Dude's like looking at Reddit and stuff. <laughs> like, like we all know this dude. Like we've all met this guy. Yeah, we have. I know this guy. I know this guy for sure. He smells bad. He, he loves smells like bad. local sports, but he lives out of town. You know, <laughs> like. Like, he's the dude that you never see on lunch eating anything other than just, like, Cool Ranch Doritos and Blue Code Red. He's just chilling. Look at the arms. They're so yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. It's that blob brush, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally some blob. I totally love it, dude. There. I, think, uh, I think tomorrow I'll, I'll probably push it a little bit more and uh, uh, throw, you know, th- test them out, throw them into Marmoset. I even gave him little vents in his neck. Text yeah, me if you need to know anything. Little little vents in his neck. All right. Well, that's that's it for tonight's show, I think. I think we did it. We made it. Absolutely. We've been on the uh, the road to Monster. Oh, Monster. Yeah, dude. That's uh, a extra long, uh, extra hammy episode right there. Yeah, this, this episode was a blast, man. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you and getting to know you getting to know your work and uh thank you to uh our sponsor lenovo yeah and, go lenovo um, no, 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 no. We, didn't our, we didn't do our we didn't do our dance yeah our road dance. to monster <laughs> the there. road to lenovo the road to <laughs> Len- <laughs> uh if you would like to see more of hammy's work uh, check him out uh, at his Instagram, which is uh, at hammy.obj. He's also on Twitter. What's your Twitter? Hammy Miami. Hammy Miami. Just I was remember born that. Because it rhymes. Remember that. And then. I was uh, born in Miami. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to contact me or Matt, here's our socials. 
at Monster Mash 042, at Jared Krzyzewski, Matt Miller. It is at Itchy Tasty underscore. And he's at Matt Miller 3D. Oh, we didn't, even get, we didn't even like get to all the hammy out there. So we would love to have you back, man. Come hang out with us again. Uh, thank you once again to Noman School of Visual Effects. Uh, the MIT of visual effects in West Hollywood, California. Thank you, everybody, and good night. We'll see you next time on Preacher. <laughs>